I'm still muted. It's fine. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Iowan Adventures, our first uh, game on D and Denial for 2024, which is insane. Um, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! Uh, happy birthday! Feliz años! Yeah. Fuck. What was I saying now? Hang on. I I sidetracked my own intro, and I was like, what? Um, uh, I am I Sneezy Stars, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign this evening. Um, quickly, I will run you through the shows that we have on this channel, and then I will give it over to my players. So, Monday nights, obviously, the Ion Adventures. Tuesday nights, we have a Shadowrun campaign, State of the Union, at 7.30 p.m. EST, run by Coddlesworth, uh, with myself and Daniel in there as well. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent by Mr. Markham at 8 p.m. EST. Uh, Friday nights at 11 p.m. EST, we have a TTRPG created and DM'd by Telerius Game Master, which is The Legends of Kralis. And Saturday nights, we have The Moonstone Matriarchy at 8 p.m. EST, another game DM'd by myself and with an all-female cast. Um, okie dokie. Uh, Pi. Hey everybody, I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me on all socials as Pyrea. I'm going to be playing Alewen Alanthus, the, uh, supposedly chronology wizard, um, who does not have any time magic right now, but anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. Uh, let's go up on my screen to Dan. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I will be playing Namaskus Silva, the half-elf bod warlock, who talk real good. Hopefully. We hope. Uh, save me, Caro. Save me. <laughs> you did. Sorry. I'm Caro. Hello. Um, I will be playing Gilly, our uh, warbarian, warlock barbarian. Um, you can find me on the internet at uh, Imaginary Caro for cosplay stuff and Corner Caro for everything else. And James, are you okay? Yes. Is your mouth safe? <laughs> My mouth is not currently burning. I am okay. Um, <laughs> hello. I am James, otherwise known to the internet as Masrix or Masrix24. Sorry for the food. Uh, uh, tonight, uh, normally, I would be playing <clears throat> Arab Desert, our deeper voiced version of myself, but uh, instead I'm playing <clears throat> Varian Arbor, the storm sorcerer whose soul has been shunted into that rat's body, so uh, stay tuned and see what happens as we deal with some family shenanigans uh, today on d and Denial. It's the first thing in the new year, so let's get to it, I suppose. Right. Uh Pi, why don't you take us away with that recap? That's me again. Hi, everybody. Uh last episode on episode 76 of the Iowan Adventures. Um, we all entered a Rev's uh Vine Gilded Mansion and the group took a um a nice deserved rest uh with a host of sassy vine attendants. Um, the party discussed the librarian during dinner while they were resting, as well as Mother Nothing, and even um, a echoing bluish figure joined them to add to the confusion of everything. Everybody's just so confused. Everybody has no idea what's going on, which is fair, which is completely fair. Um, they all agreed that the librarian is a potential threat to all of them, even the cunning in Narok. Um, as... Uh, as they had dinner, they realized that Arev's lovely mansion is on a different plane. So Alewen was able to show off some of her timey-wimey magic um, by putting Gilly in a bubble, which personally I think is going to come back for one super fun shenanigans and two, in my brain, it's going to come back in like a clutch moment where we're going to put Gilly in a Gilly ball and she's going to save the day somehow. Kind of like Baldur's Gate where they drop the owl bear. <laughs> Gilly ball. Gilly ball. <laughs> Gilly ball. Gilly ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like in my brain, I'm already like, this is this is gonna be such a this is gonna be a bit for so many amazing things. So uh welcome Gilly Ball. 
uh, to the Iowan Adventures, which is super fun. Um, a rub tries to uh, talk to his bae, Vic Strixen, um, and acts like his sassy vines. Um, but the cunning isn't quite as cunning as he thinks against his love. Um, he gives Animus' soul to a rev due to their deal. Um, he just basically batted his eyes at the cunning and the cunning folded. Uh, he didn't, but um, it makes sense. It makes sense because he loves him. Um, FaZa questions everything and asks Gilly how she knows that she likes girls. Another little bit that I feel like is going to is gonna come back. Uh, that We'll see how that goes, thanks to Atma being inside FaZa's body now. Um, Vic Strixen has a plan to get the party out of hell um, that requires them to enter um, a, this large tentacle disgusting cool building in the center of a spooky spooky maze town um and so he leads them there um where shenanigans are about to ensue there's so much shit going on they go into this spooky building that's got pulsing uh caverns and creepy things and there's blood on the floor and glowing skull eyeballs in this very large room that has two figures in it the two figures one of them's a bug man who's like nine foot humanoid size and then this other bitch this other bitch who's there <laughs> uh is a former pink tiefling known as anya who is no longer a, t a pink tiefling she's this crystally like spooky but kind of hot but not creature -y thing and this spooks everybody out even more because what the hell is going on and uh varian decides to take over and is also a little spooked so the party's trying to figure out what they're gonna do because they got to get through these two people to get to a door behind this big old cavern with skulls and blood on the floor and uh the party tried to make some plants and uh we're not very good with maps. Let's just put it that way. So uh, <laughs> let's see uh, if we're going to encounter the Cunning's mother, by the way, who is this person behind the door. <laughs> all the family drama, all the family drama. So if if I don't stop talking now, I'm going to keep talking. I just... run telenovelas. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was such a big episode to summarize. It was. Yeah. That was, it, was like, it was a lot. It was. You guys, like, I wrote it. I wrote it down and I didn't even like <laughs> say all this stuff. Like, so I was like, oh shit, I need to stop talking or I'm going to keep going. It's all important. Yeah. It was so good. Much of it, it was important. good. Yeah. It was yeah. So, yeah. So everybody's spooked out and there's a lot of stuff going on and let's kick some ass. Hopefully. All right. Theory. So to push somebody to the lava. <laughs> ended last session with more or less saying that you guys are about to roll for initiative as you crawled in there trying to surprise these beings <laughs> unbeknownst to you uh one of them has a fairly decent true sight and blind sight um or tremor sense rather so varian got a lightning bolt off on one of them yes yeah like right the, at the moment end. the moment that uh anya turned towards phaza mm -hmm. he Oh shit! And then immediately lightning bolted her. Yeah. And I'll remind you that you were not that it did not do as much damage as he thought it was going to do. Damn it. it so, so rude. <laughs> How rude of me. Let's roll for initiative. Hey. Roll high. First roll of the year. Yeah. First roll. Oh, oh. which dice? My dice. <laughs> you forgot your dice after all that. Amazing. <laughs> All right, Dan, of, what did you get? of 2020, Poorly. I fuck, kid you not, is a nat 20. All or right. 2024. Oh my gosh. My first roll was a nat that's 20. That's a good sign for Damascus. Oh, and we needed it. So that's a Again, 24. I'll ask you. Okay. 25. For Damascus? <laughs> for <25. laughs> or yes, for Damascus? Or for Faiza? For Damascus. Uh, okay, so you'll go you'll go twice. You get a you actually get a surprise round because you she did, she hasn't seen you, um, because what a waste of a nat twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, what's phases? You know what? I wanted to go first. Uh, Phaza got a do the math fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, Gilly. Ah! I got a nat twenty two. 
<laughs> oh shit. Okay. What's your what's your all together? What's what is it all together? Gilly. Hmm? Oh, all together. Pirated. All together. Oh, okay. 13. I have oh. advantage on initiative checks and a plus seven, and it is a 13. So oh. <laughs> Okay. Not a part of the high roller crowd. High net oh, 20 she... as well? Yeah. So 28 in total. I thought you were saying you got one too oh, as in like a third. I yeah, was like, oh, no. gonna kick their ass. <laughs> that's what I heard. I, I was, was like, just excited so... for you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, winter. <laughs> so winter got a grand old four. Four. Ooh. Winter's just, you know, doing his best today. And Varian? Uh, Varian got a 21 because he rolled 21. a nat 19. Wow. I can Let's tell go. you, you guys are good. Yeah, you guys are all going first. Shit, man. They rolled very poorly. Uh, we will start with a sneak attack round from Alewin and Damascus. But first, the reason you get this sneak attack round is because Anya's eyes have now focused in on. The person that shot her with a lightning bolt. Uh, she looks at you. Me? She has she has uh she has tough vision. Yeah, but what's the range on it? Because he's pretty far away. Where is he? Hang on. I think he was in range. He's 100 I'm hundred feet, feet away, away from Oh no, she can't see you. Uh, <gasps> okay. Wait, you're invisible? Is it greater? Is it greater invisibility? It is greater invisibility. Not a fucking clue who shot that at her. But she yes. is turned towards Phaza. All right. Uh, Alewin. Me. Time. It's my turn. Start I'm loading the map. Hold on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that uh, the map. I'm so far. I'm so far away. It's so okay. The joy. The joy right, of you my know heart what? right now. Phaza looks, or uh, she looks at Phaza and she goes, now, that voice sounded very familiar. What? She heard you scream, oh shit. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, she okay, okay. looks. Dan, when you talk, you have to talk Irish. <laughs> yeah, Dan. <laughs> but you gotta do it, Damascus. Trying to Damascus do an Irish as Irish. Irish. Tr Damascus <laughs> trying to be Varian. Varian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster. So, so, so in other words, what you're telling me is we're we're gonna get that scene from fucking Harry Potter when uh, Bellatrix the Strange's <laughs> actress was. Pretending to be <laughs> yeah. Hermione's actress, pretending uh -huh. it's like the four stages of the acting. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Buckle. It, I'll have <laughs> you know, by the way, I just read our uh, our chat. It is not Dan fiction. She was a very <laughs> good-looking woman. She just looks like a crystallized version of yeah, that. Yeah, I put it as she was like she was a hot sparkly lady. and majestic. I missed that part, which is very out of character. I apologize. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, so we have a surprise round, correct? Yes. Uh, okay. You and Damascus do. Okay. Um, Damascus is way the hell over there. I'm, uh, I'm planning on using my turn to draw, is... try and draw her to me as best I can. Yeah. So can teleport her into lava. Um, I don't want to waste it, but I also want to... Okay, Um, I'm just going to, since I'm close to winter and she hasn't seen me, um, she doesn't know I'm there because I'm so far away. I'm going to go ahead and give Winter um, a haste. Nice. Um, so we'll do third level haste on Winter. Um, because if I try if I try and like attack or do anything else, it's going to fumble anything that Damascus is trying to do. So we'll go ahead and just give Winter the buff um, with haste. Um, so she'll reach under, out. Under his breath, he goes, thank you. <laughs> you look like you're having a hard time good 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 luck with his why did he get like a four in initiative right <laughs> winter Just he's like in this room shit. and he's having weird war flashbacks <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> poor winter oh my Ethan, gosh winter is turning so into hard. the most traumatic character that i just <laughs> need to protect even though he's buff <laughs> all right so winter has been hasted i will write that down on his sheet right now so haste so that i don't forget can you imagine um if it's like a sympathy vote like he just he sees varian having this trauma and he gets like a, a psyche 
moment where like something breaks loose and he actually remembers the trauma of being um uh oh my gosh what's the name of Threvin? his brother Threven like remembers dying as Threven <laughs> Oh, he no. remembers he remembers being tied to a pillar <laughs> mm-hmm. uh this rune carved into his chest um a glow a sickening glowy purple coming out of it and then absolute pain as his soul begins to be used for fuel to open a doorway this um, didn't have to happen why are you making this happen <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so sad <laughs> we're, it's, it's, we're just having war real. flashbacks it's, it's, um, no, that's very good. It's, this is the, oh, the equivalent of the helicopter. <laughs> 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 oh, baby. Let it go. Uh, Damascus will take half a step forward. Uh, I'm absolutely going to use both. I'm going to be able to do both now. I'm going to use my bonus action to buff myself with okay. uh, Bard Conspiration. Give myself a lucky knee. Hey. Uh is trying to convince her to come towards me in action, or is that free? Um, if you're just taunting her, I'm then going to knock be yourself her and out. Be like, come at me, bro. She come can't out. see you. Why not? Well, these are this is a doorway. This right uh, here. And so you'd have to actually come forward a bit. Okay. How far I got third if I got. 40 feet of movement. How far uh, forward do 10, I got to come? 15, 20. I, I mean, 20 feet. 20, 25 feet. 20, 25 feet. Okay. They're about there. Cool. So one, two, three, four. That's 20 feet. So I'm good here? Yeah. That's cool. where she can catch your eye. Perfect. Uh, move forward. I'm going to say... Uh, let me just try and do this as best I can. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Pinky! You there, Crystal Lady? I don't know who you are, where you're from, what you've done, but you're in my way. And frankly, I'm quite enjoying blasting you with lightning. And <laughs> roll me a deception check. I'm absolutely going to blast her with lightning right now. Just if it changes. Okay. You know what? Do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I then pluck my loot and I use a spell called light, uh, Thunderbolt and Lightning. Very, very, very exactly frightening. Exactly what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> Go. Describe it to me. Just feet spread. Loot down low. As the sound echoes from the spot, pretty much right between her and the her demon friend over there, as it just radiates and grows as the sound vibrates and then explodes in lightning and thunder. And they need to nice. make dexterity saving throws. Dexterity yep. saving throws. Okay. Um, I'm gonna roll online because they do worse. <laughs> okay. That is a Thanks. two. I mm. never want to kill you guys. It's both of them. <laughs> two for her. Okay. And hang on. She is, yeah, so she's resistant to lightning. Okay. And That's where fine. is where is Dog Marth Maroth? Where is he? Unfortunate name. He What's wrong with my name? <laughs> as he rolls a nine yeah. okay so that is 12 lightning damage and 6, 15, 19 thunder damage to both of them a 12 and 19 so 12 damn 19 damn. Uh, half the so the 12 is 6 for her yeah. and thunder so, okay. Thunder. 19 of that, yeah? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. And then... You see cracks begin to appear in her crystal. She scowls at you. Why don't you come on... <clears throat> why, don't you... why don't you come on over here and do something about it? 
Um, the the look she gives you. <laughs> it's just a... Uh-huh. What are you rolling? Result. My deception check. You oh, you don't deception. need to. You fucked it up already. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was me fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Um. Wait. I use gift of the gab to yeah! fix something that I said in the last six seconds. Ooh. And what, as a what reaction. kind of spell is that? I believe it's a reaction. Gab, 5e, I'll double check. When you cast the spell, blah, 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 blah. Reaction, to take when you speak to another creature. All right, she's been thunderstruck. Go ahead. Hang on. Why don't you come over here and do something about it? If you think you can. Now give me your deception. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm lucky. I'm going to re-roll that four. <laughs> How many luck points do I have? Three. I know. I'm just checking if I've used any. I haven't. Cool. I'm going to use lucky again because I rolled a oh bad one God. on that four. There you go. 14 plus 13 is a 27. And what the hell? I'll throw my bardic on top of that. For a that's a nine. Twenty-seven plus nine is thirty-six. Does she come to me? Yeah, she's she's facing you. She'll come on her round. Uh yeah. I'll lay win. Oh, shit. And then Damascus. Okay, okay, okay. Gosh dang it. Okay. Um beep, 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 beep. <sighs> <laughs> I'm living for this accent from Dan. Love it. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's so good. Um, we are I gonna just do another buff because we I if I do, do anything, anything else that doesn't it's... like from yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna do uh another to touch. Hold on. I apologize. Give me just one second. Do I have to touch somebody to haste or can I cast it from a distance? 30 feet. 30 feet. There you go. 30 feet. Okay. Uh, but I've got the spell sniper, so it it doubles. 60 feet. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and haste uh, Varian as well. Uh, just to, to buff him up at third level. I hate to do this. I'm pretty sure haste is concentration. No. It is. Oh, hold on, is it? Yeah. Oh, oop, you're right. Just it kidding. Is. Scratch that. Um. Beep, beep. I am going to hold my action. Um. And ready a counter spell for Anya if I see her try and um like That's attack something. yeah attack uh damascus and gilly in a way that's like you know like she's gonna blow them up you know what i mean um so i'm gonna hold that and ready a counter spell uh against anya okay uh damascus uh, I'm going to keep being as belligerent as I can. Um, I want her to think that my shit is lightning based. So I'm going to hit her with that exact same spell again. I know it's not the most effective thing I can do, but I but really it's... want her to come in my direction. But yeah. it's cool. I, I keep going. Thunderbolts and lightning again. Another deck save. For both of them. Okay. Where... Da, 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 da. Six. Not their strong suit. Um, thirteen for her, Fails. and a sixteen for him. Uh, eight. That's twenty-two lightning, and I'm probably really good for these. Uh, twenty-two lightning and ten, twenty thunder. And I'm out of God fifth level. Damn, spells. you hit her 
this music that you've cast, you just see it seem to reverberate through her crystals. As these cracks deepen and grow, she screams. Ooh. Uh, Arev, what you doing? Rev is not doing much as he's locked Arev. away in the Varian. Sorry, <laughs> I still have you in the thing as as yeah. No, I know it's that's fine. Um, this like I, I, as lightning bolts and everything are being like slung around, and Dan is making a, if I may say so, a very cheap imitation of my accent. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I mean, <laughs> you are, you are. Um, but honestly, I think Varian's been like trembling in his boots, attempting to be as small as possible because casting that lightning bolt was a mistake. And like, I I don't know whether you've ever been in a situation where like, you know for a fact you're surrounded by your superiors and you just absolutely fuck up like there's there's no one you can't you can't back out of it you can't say anything like you're standing there being like yep that was me and everyone knows baby so very sitting there like this lost soul shoved in this body Everyone had a plan, and he's just kind of going, "Why the fuck did I do that? That's not that wasn't the plan. I I can't. I've got to, I've got to stay out of the way. They're all the fighters. I I'm, I'm not a fighter. What the fuck am I doing here?" And just says like, the man who just lights fucking things on fire. <laughs> as for jokes, though, like he's for he loves to and giggles. Yeah, he loves to, and, and that was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. The trees don't count. Fucking trees. Um, fucking trees. Um, is it actually his turn? Or were you just wondering out of context, like out of turn, like how he's reacting to what's going on? No, it's his turn. Oh, I missed that. Okay. And I, um, very quickly, just because I forgot to do it, I wanted to use my bonus action to use my cutting words thing so that she has uh, minus a d10 on her next saving throw. You moved I... past me too fast. I was rolling dice. I did I move past you too fast? You didn't ask if there was anything else I wanted to do. Fine. Okay. We'll put this aside for her. That's excellent. <laughs> now with that information armed, I wonder if I have any <laughs> spells that I can use. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I am very much um, still panicking. So with my greater invisibility still active, I am going to... Maintain most of my distance. Um, she's because she's called me out. You know, she said that voice sounds very familiar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Varian's going. She knows I'm here. She knows I'm here. She doesn't know where I'm here, but she knows I'm here. She leans uh, forward, almost like trying to see if she can smell you. Um, <laughs> he smells like all patchouli. of you just went. No, that's okay. No thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Icky. <laughs> Shit. I think I'm gonna move here, and then um. So how many feet are you running up towards I, the I, So I moved sort of diagonally twenty five feet. Okay. I'm now um 80 feet away from um the monstrosity and uh i gotta figure out where the measure tool is the ruler right underneath the magnifying glass above the dice oh perfect okay uh yeah so i'm i'm, I'm 80 feet from either of the baddies i've moved about 20 feet closer okay and I, I think I'm going to use my action to hide, actually. 
I like I know I'm invisible, but I want I want to try and hide. Oh, baby, not you're a bad like idea. ducked down behind Faza. <laughs> you're in the middle of the room, so there's nowhere for you to actually hide. But I'm invisible. Yes, you are invisible. You you're like you're making you're getting low. You're trying to you're trying to make sure that she, if she throws anything at you, you know it's not going to hit you. Yeah, stuck down. Um, I rolled a uh 18 for stealth to try and try and hide with my invisible self okay that's not bad hang on let me see I'm trying to I quiet saw a myself TikTok down today of a dog that thinks that if it lies down that no one can see it Did you, in the driveway isn't <laughs> yes. that true so that's okay. exactly what are that what variant's doing <laughs> just okay. if i lay down and i'm still you can't see me. Uh, let's see. <laughs> like T-Rex rules here. Blindside I'm going to post the picture you're fine. of Bats yeah. hiding the other day. You're hidden. <laughs> she doesn't know you're there. Cool. Um, that's it. I don't, I'm not wasting any magic. I'm not doing anything aggressive. I'm trying to see how so this plays Varian out. So Varian is huddled. No one can see this, but Varian is huddled down behind a, a couple feet behind Faza, just shivering. Uh, it is Faza's turn. Ow! God! Damn it. Uh, Faza will. You okay? Smack Absolutely. Something. I smack something. <laughs> Let me just check something here. Keep the speed on constantly. It'll be helpful for me. Range. Okay, cool. I think she can do it. Faza will run. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get right there. Really, check the range on. Do you happen to know the range on Vortex Warp, Jess? 90 feet. 90 feet. Can she move it all more? Uh, buh, 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 buh. she has face step. Is face step a spell? She can, she can do that um, once, I believe, right? Yes, so she will face step. Uh, 30 feet. One, two, three, four. Can I face step her like right on top of the skull thing? The skull? Yeah, is that like somewhere she can stand on top of? Um, I mean, she, she... yeah, he's 90. That would be at least 90 feet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then from here, I think it's 90 feet to the lava. Oh, yeah. All right. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, and I think at this point, she'll yell out, uh, Variant, do that thing that you double my spell. Use your sash. As she casts uh, Vortex War on both of them. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Vortex Warping both of them into the fire, into the lava. Assuming Varian is helping. Otherwise, she'll just go after her. Varian, what yep. are you doing? Lady. Uh, other than rocking back and forth on the ground with my hands clasped very tight trying not to get noticed um <clears throat> uh, it's a reaction to use my sash your and, sash of sorceress synergy yes and whenever i uh do things i remain invisible thanks to greater invisibility so um i will spend some of the charges to twin spell that spell so, Concepts. our dog Moroth rolls a 13. That passes. That does not pass, I mean. That fails. Anya rolls a 20. Not dirty 20, but... Oh, that would suck if I didn't just roll a 4 on my bardic dice. So oh, subtract 4 shit. from that 20. You yeet them into the lava. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> so they would be okay okay let me move them let me move them right all right so 90 feet into this pool of lava underneath you god damn guys um should have made this harder <laughs> should i so one let's find out if either of them are resistant to one damage. and two okay well okay well, lava's both... lava right like that's worse than just lava is pretty hot. It's it's mm -hmm. way different. It's very hot. 
we did just fight a guy who was swimming in lava though so i mean <laughs> here's hoping they're not that it's not um, like this is their natural habitat roll me 10 d10 that's a lot <laughs> I have it's lava. <laughs> <laughs> I have three d ten here. Who wants to like pitch in? I'll roll okay. three. You have three, four, five, mm-hmm. six, seven, eight, nine. Somebody roll one. I've got four. Okay, I can roll one. All right. Okay, I'm rolling my lava colored one. Okay, seven. Let me seven. All right. Next. I have twenty. So we're at twenty-seven. Okay. 30, 35 in total. 35. So 62 damage, which nice. gets halved because she is immune to some of the, or she is resistant to some of that, to 31 damage to our little crystal lady here as she begins to glow a bright orange. Excellent. Hey. He's going to be all melty now. Dog Maroth, on the other hand, <laughs> begins to swim for shore. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it was a good plan. Dog Maroth. All right. I, that, well done. Is that her turn? Uh, that is her turn. Bonus action, action, movement. Yeah. Gilly. Okay. Um... Oh, so I don't forget to ask, would either of these fine fellas be considered fiends? Both are fiends. Yes, I get an extra 1d6. Good, good. Um, Okay, I'm going to rage. First of all, these people seem like they suck. Okay, so that is a... If anybody hits me with an attack roll, they take 1d6 force damage in retribution. Okay. They'll help me remember that. (laughs) Okay. Um, and then I'm going to summon my Tentacle of the Deeps. I'm hoping that's not going to... Would my Tentacle get hurt by being in lava? I don't think it would, right? Because it's... <laughs> no. Spectral? Okay, that's good. I, okay, I mean, I'm going to summon that. It doesn't have HP, right? Yeah. I don't think so. It doesn't have but HP, just like, it's effectively immune. But just the theory of the... The, <clears throat> the principle of the thing. Okay, I'm going to summon the... Just like Is about my Tentacle going to get hurt? <laughs> I don't want my tentacle <laughs> to get hurt. Are you, are you just worried that Grandma's going to be like, "Why did you burn me?" Yeah. Um. <laughs> hey. Um. Okay. How do I do this again? Spell attack is plus five. Okay, and then I'm going to attack. I guess I'm going to attack uh, Dog Breath with this one because I want uh, some damage to happen with the tentacle. Okay. So that's a nineteen plus five. I assume that's going to hit. Let's see. Dog Breath. Which is what I've decided his name is. Now. Yes, it does hit. Okay, so he takes seven points of cold damage. Is it Pokemon rules? Is cold damage bad for him? <laughs> Half that for me. So uh, it would be, uh, we'll go with three. No, four, because you round up. It's either you Pokemon rules or damage. reverse Pokemon rules. Oh, it's, it's no, still Pokemon, Pokemon rules. Time. It's just, it's <laughs> ineffective or super effective. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Okay, so tentacle accomplished. Noting myself is okay. That. If you're if you can generate your own heat, why would being cold do extra damage to you? Doesn't make sense. Anyways, Fair. sorry. Is that everything? <laughs> uh, that is not everything. Okay, so um, then I'm gonna grab my trusty trident. Uh, how far away are these? Your okay, tentacle yeah, is gonna... your tentacle a bonus action? Tentacle is a bonus action. Yeah. Okay, so is raging. Yes. So I still got so two get... actions left. I'm not done. <laughs> you you only get one bonus action. Oh, shoot. Do I? Yes. Aw. Okay, well. So you'll you'll have to rage next turn. That's fair. That's fair. Nobody's close to me right now anyways. Fingers crossed. Um, so I'm going to throw my trident at Dog Breath. Fuck that guy. I'm going to focus on him. Okay, that's 14 plus... Ma'am! You are throwing it in the lava. Oh, shit. Wait. (laughs) I am just going to... Listen, before you lose your super special (laughs) item, okay? (laughs) I am fine with you throwing it, but I want you to know that if it doesn't hit him, or if he goes under the the lava, you lose it. 
okay never mind <laughs> <laughs> it's all magical though it's not magic i just want you to know, know. <laughs> okay in that case let's go with we're gonna shoot a water bullet at this bitch that's better probably um 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 um, um how does this work that well when six damage on a hit so it's just a spell attack good 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 okay so that is 18 plus 5. Yeah, 23 to hit. Okay. And then that will be 1d6 damage. Piercing damage. So 4 piercing damage. Okay. And then we'll just do it again. And that would be uh, a... One it, does, it does more. Why? What? It does 1d6 piercing damage, but it's a cantrip, right? Your water bullet? Yeah. So it should be 1d6. Uh, it should be 3d6. Yeah. Is it? They, they scale with yeah, your they level. Scale with your level. Oh, but yeah. I think it's a warlock. Right. Yeah, it's uh, not level in the class. Too. So this is the yeah, cool thing about check... casting classes. If you take even a single level in a casting class, the cantrip damage scales on your total level as a character. Not really? in the yeah. yeah. Oh shit! I've been doing that up, wrong. Click on that thing. Uh, he just um, he just completely just gave stop talking to you at right, all. If you click if you <laughs> click on the water bullet thing, it'll actually tell uh -huh. you everything that it does. It's one d six plus your spell casting modifier, and then at fifth level it's two d six. At eleventh level it's three d six. Oh okay. So it's three d six plus your spell casting modifier. Oh my god! Which thank I think you. Is constitution for you? It's just plus charisma? one for me. Okay. Okay. So that's a four and a. Two and a four. Uh, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven piercing. Okay, damage. so eleven damage, um, which is cold damage, yes? That is just piercing damage. That's just piercing damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eleven still ha nope, that's magic. So that is full. Okay. I'm gonna So add it's got that little glowy water bullets. And I feel like since it's three D six, it's three bullets. So I'm just gonna yes. one after the other. You hit him with these little water bullets that just kind of like sizzle off him and he's looking really annoyed at you as he just begins like I'm just squirting him with a water swords. gun basically <laughs> yeah <laughs> whatever i'm not losing my trance so so do i only get one spell attack and not two okay fair enough is there anything else i can do with an action that's not i don't think so okay all right carry on <laughs> okay, okay actually okay. you know what i'm gonna move a little bit so i'm just in between damascus and scary Swimming devil people. Okay. <laughs> Scary swimming devil. <laughs> devil. Blah, 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 blah. Appreciate it. Okay. He says, still trying to do the horrible Varian imitation. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe it is our swinging dog, swinging, swimming dog breath's turn. Dog breath. Great. Who? Da, 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 how far? He's, oh, he's much faster than I expected him to be. Um, is about to book it towards you guys. So let's see here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so he gets right here, Gilly, in front of you. Good. But Excellent. I don't think he can attack this turn because you're still too far. One second. <sighs> cannot be frightened. Cannot. Blah, blah. Get wrecked. Uh, Reaches five feet. Reach is Come up into ten tentacle feet. range. How far away are you? Or trident range, rather. Let's see here. You're ten. You're fifteen feet. He cannot touch you this turn. So he is just huffing and puffing and <laughs> looking incredibly angry, but begins to glow a little bit. Oh, good. And you see, he looks just a little healthier. Ah. Ah. Uh, Ooh, I've got something for that. Ooh. You've got something for that? I got something where I can make people not heal. I'd love that for you. Well, right now? <laughs> not oh, right now. Then. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, oops. I gave that to him as damage. Nope, we didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, okay, so he's looking a little bit healthier. Um, and that's his turn. Randonel goes to start running towards you guys to help. 
but immediately just gets yeeted out the back door by Vistrixen. Like, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, because Renanel's not allowed to be a fighter. <laughs> now. Like a kitty leash on a backpack? Nope, yeah. not that <laughs> way. He's got a leash on him that's just like, nope. Um, Here's, however, what you didn't see coming towards you. Because you ran into this room hostile as fighting. You're you're hostile. Um, these two chain devils swung down from the roof. Oh, shit. No, thank you. And they can go back up. <laughs> well, well, their job is to protect the queen. Anything that Basically, they're created to more or less anything that comes in here hostily has to go. They gotta die. We're hostile first. They were not in the room. Oh. So what it looks like is that you guys just started fighting. You guys just started attacking people. Um, Gilly, behind you, one of these chain devils descends from the ceiling and lands. Um... And it's it's hoi hoi. <laughs> so let's let's see what happens. It's going to start its attacks. Um or animate chains. Ooh. It's magically razor. Okay. So it's just going to attack you twice. Yeah. For it's not rolling well. A ten and a nine. Wow. Okay. They're plus eight to hit, just FYI. <laughs> Would have been nice if I had already Nine raged, but that one. is not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and behind you, Damascus. Well, another one lowers itself to the ground. And it's going to make come from? its attacks. <laughs> Where are you? And a 22 to hit. Uh... 18 does not, 22 does. Uh, did I use my reaction this round? No, that was the first round. It was my surprise round. Uh, let's... Yeah, you know what? I'll take the hit. So, you, ha- you take 10 slashing damage from that one hit. Okay. Um, and you are grappled. As oh, I chains that. begin to wrap around you, tying you tightly. Um, he <laughs> takes uh... 20 cold damage as my armor of Agathis lashes out. And you see that just ice coats the chains that he's grappling me with and turns them brittle and soft. It doesn't seem to do as much damage as you want it to do. Turns them a little brittle and soft. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you are restrained. Um, restrained too. Okay, oh, no. shouldn't have let him hit me. It is restrained and takes. Oh wait, Un- yeah. So until the grapple ends, the target is restrained and takes seven, uh, piercing damage or two d six piercing damage at the start of each of your turn. My turns. Yes. My turns or his turns. Okay. Your turns. Okay. So. Fine with me. <laughs> that's its turn. Now it's Anya's turn who is glowing bright red now. And she disappears. What? Coward. She dunks under the (laughs) lava and is gone. Shit. (laughs) One second. One second. She's coming back. Uh, She can move. That's worse. You understand (laughs) that's worse, right? (laughs) Um, she pops out of the ground you feel this rumbling begin to start uh, on the stones around you and suddenly they start to being they start being pushed out as she begins to dig up from the ground looking a little bit sorry I gotta roll these a little bit healthier as she does so son of a bitch wow. I do wish I hadn't wasted all my fifth level spells. Ah. Um, but that is her turn. Takes it 
it takes a lot for her to do that. So it is well, her turn. Uh, that, is, that is her whole turn. Uh, Winter, go ahead. Winter is very, very fucking far away. Yeah. Poor Winter. <laughs> Run! He's so, like, haste, though, so he has oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, twice movement haste. speed, and he's got an extra action he can use to dash. Correct. So, that and being said... And he can said, fly. As oh, he... Yeah. Uh, he can fly over the... As he feels the sense of jazzercise in his muscles... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the comedy. Um, we're just sitting there kind of going, all right, uh, let's go. <laughs> and uh, he is going to book it. Uh, now, uh, Ms. DM, because yes. Winter was designed by you, and we talk about his flight all the time um, for RP reasons, uh, the only thing I can find mechanically on his sheet is when he, like, manifests the, the the spectral wings uh for his flight speed he doesn't actually just have like flight speed in his movement um so canonically can he just fly at the same speed as he walks yeah or do i have to trigger that ability where it lasts for a minute i'm gonna say that he can in combat you have to trigger it normally though he can just fly if he wants to Okay, so this particular situation is combat, meaning I would then have to trigger it, and it yes. lasts for a minute. Okay. Yes. Um. So the triggering of it from my reading, I believe, was that was an action. Yes, he's got two the... right now, though. No, he's got three. He's got two. He's got two attack, and he's got an extra. Um. He's got a haste action. Yeah, which small you have to problem. Use to attack. Uh, apparently he flew in the last combat. The or... last combat was the day before. Or... Oh. Yeah, we should all have... Yeah, you guys don't reset your character sheets. Oh, no. I <laughs> I, 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 res I reset Varian and I reset Arev. I forgot to reset Winter. So I'm just... that's Excellent. Re it's real quick. There we go. See, now I can do it again. Okay. So um, he has a 30 feet flying speed now as well as many other cool things, such as glowing, glimmering eyes. Um, and he can deal he, a lot more radiant damage to things. How far mm -hmm. can you get on this turn? Because so, if it's not right the whole way, uh, Vestrixen's just going to grab onto him and be like, just give me a second. Uh, so with the extra hasted action... Which I'd probably use that actually to like trigger the radiant soul. Um, you, oh, you can only use it for attacking, right? No, yeah, okay, cool. It's, cool, it's, cool, cool. It's, I don't it's, have the spell in front of me. Uh, so it's if you use it to attack, it is only a single extra attack. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but you can use it for other like non-related actions. It's just it stipulates the yeah the one attack. So uh, I'll trigger the radiant soul with a hasted ability, and then I was gonna dash and it's doubled speed while hasted so it's 60 it'd be 120 feet that they could go um which is basically only to the other side of this blood pool like literally just to the other side of the blood pool. so what would he do he hears vixtrixen say hang on a minute mm -hmm. then he will hold his action he turns to vixtrixen and can I reply to him? Is that okay? Yeah. Um, so he turns to Vixtrixen and he goes, hold on for what? Vixtrixen doesn't wait. He just grabs you and you appear right in front or right across from Damascus about 30 hey, feet away. Hey. Damn. Nice. Dimension door. Oh, it feels like a dimension door. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Went from irrelevant to relevant turn. Let's go. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right up here. That's Ran and L, but whatever. Right. You're right over here. Okay. Uh, bam. So, okay. So I got to move to where you want. No, I got you. I just, I'm not always the best with zooming on these maps. 
Yeah, this is a big one. And there you go. You guys are now in the fight. Okay. So, now that I'm in the fight, I see two chain devils across the way uh, and things out in the lava as well. Your turn is over. Oh, my turn is over because I waited. Your turn is over. Yeah, it has to. He to teleport you. He has to go on his turn. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Yeah, because I I couldn't have like held an action to like cast a spell or something when I get there, right? Yeah, you can hold an action. Oh, sweet. Uh, then I will hold an action to the necklace of prayer beads that he still has in his possession. Mm hmm. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I, I have it as a spell anyways. I will hold my action that if I get warped there, I will cast Bless on Gilly, Damascus, and, and myself, which is Winter. Hell yeah. Yeah, 100%. You, got, you get one minute, you're flying out your way there. Vistriction reaches up, grabs you by the ankle, and goes, hang on a second. And then the next, you are standing 30 feet away from Damascus. And Gilly. So as Winter like erupts from this portal and his eyes light on his friends 30 feet away, that triggers this uh, sense in him and that glimmering sort of spectral um, aspect that's glown to his wings and to his eyes. Uh, he looks out and he just reaches out and he goes, it's okay. And despite the fact that you are standing in the midst of like a fiery literal pits of hell lava everywhere demons approaching you you feel this soft kiss of winter's chill just radiating down your neck and you kind of good it like basically it, it it abates the the lava um feeling um the convection just a little bit. going on just just a little bit Thanks, okay. Winter. You guys have been blessed. Don't mention it. Um, What's that mechanically again? Uh, D4 uh, to attack rolls and saving throws. Yes, you have a plus D4. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't want to step on your toes. Bless. No, that's great. Bless. I'm making notes. Bless. And okay. bless. Uh, top of the round. A lay one. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, Dimension Door. Uh, That's what we're all doing. Gonna... Let's get in this way. Right. You're we're just running. Well, it's my quickest way. <laughs> I was like piecemealing things together where I was like, I could um action, I could use my uh my 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 30 feet, I could action dash, I can bonus action and I was like, why don't I just use dimension door? Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. And um, give me just a second. I got to scroll out. I'm going to use, I'm going to get closer to that back door. So I'm going to get about 315. I'm going to go ahead and move her. Yep. 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 So I'm going to get closer to the door over there. Um, so I'll dimension door and then uh, that's my turn. So Elaine just kind of appears behind you about 300 feet behind you guys. Uh, leaving poor Rananel. And Varian to run to after you guys. I he know, can, but he wants to help so badly. <laughs> he can take the rest of the combat to walk over there slowly. <laughs> from from the other room, you just hear, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is Damascus's turn once more. Um. On this map, it's a little hard to tell because where you put them. Is this green one the one that's grappling me? This guy right here. Ba, ba, ba. Hang on a second. I have to go all the way back and scroll in. Right. <laughs> um, The green one. Yes, I didn't move him. I should have. Oh, okay. So yeah. he has to move closer. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> um... <laughs> You're restrained. <laughs> I am absolutely restrained. I can still cast spells while restrained. And the spell that I am going to cast... Let me check the range of something real quick. God fucking damn it. I know exactly what it is. It's defenestration. <laughs> no, defenestration only throws in 20 feet. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I've got lots of stuff that can move people around. Uh, if I hit with all three Eldritch Blasts, he goes flying back 30 feet, though. 
So I disadvantage. Blast three plus a d4. Plus a d4. Thanks. Thanks, Winter. Okay. Let's go. I got you. I have a plus 12. Okay. We've got a uh, 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 3 is uh, how's a 19 work? Let's see. 16. Yep. You're good. Okay. Uh, Second one is a 20 no, sorry, is a uh, 18? Yep. Third one is a, oh, much higher, 24. Yeah, there's, those all hit. Yes. So how far did I hit he go? Three times, he goes flying back 30 feet, and I deal... Yeah, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all right. Bam. 10 plus 8 is 18, 18 plus 21... 39 force damage. Heck yeah. He Mouth just back. unloads. Get the unloads fuck off these. Me. <laughs> no, 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 why is he there? I wanted him in a straight line. It goes in a straight line. That is in a straight line. Mm-hmm. Straight in line from where direction? I am. It's 30 feet this way. Can you see my. Ooh, arrow? lava. Also, Into the lava. Not to I'm that again. Sorry. It's it a is straight... a straight fucking line. Okay. Nope, because he Five, was here. 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. He's right there. He's not in the lava yet. He's but like absolutely in the lava. He's, here. Did he's not feet. in the lava yet. Straight line. Are you fucking okay, arguing fine. with me about fine. where he is like on my right goddamn map? Right hey, on the hey, hey, Damascus. <laughs> he's mm-hmm. right on the Did, border. Didn't you just shit talk with your regular voice? <laughs> oh yeah, I absolutely did. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've ruined that. God, God is the Irish accent. Well, she's very distracted. Um, <laughs> yeah, I damn it. She also bonus heard Faza say Varian out loud. That's yeah. true. Uh, bonus action. I am going to use my last bardic to debuff this uh, nice crystal lady. How's she looking, by the way? She is looking. Let's see. She is... Where are you? Anya, there you are. She is looking almost, almost half health. Okay. Yeah, I'll, she I'll healed herself a bit, so like she yeah. got, yeah, okay. yeah. I will use my uh, unsettling words to debuff her again. Uh, she is minus a d10 to her next saving throw. Okay, Varian, what are you doing? Yes. <sighs> well, I don't exactly have a way to get over there so fast like the rest of you blokes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we abandoned you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's you just know what? jogging. You were too I don't far. Really want to be there. From me. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to be there is kind of the whole point, isn't it? Um, well, shit. Suppose I should... I'm just going to get as close as I can. So let's get 60 feet closer and end my turn. Um, I can get... <laughs> you poor baby! You've got like another <laughs> two, like another turn before you're in this combat. Do you have Dimension Door or something? Not Dimension Door. Uh, he doesn't want to be there. That's fair. Um, it, well, it's not, not just that. I, I literally don't have Dimension Door. Misty Step? Nope. You want to know what yeah. I've got? I will tell you what my Basically lovely little him. sorcerer has. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my lovely little sorcerer has uh, ice knife, shield, thunder wave, darkness, levitate, rhymes, binding ice, dispel magic, lightning bolt, greater invisibility, storm sphere, cone of cold, telekinesis. He's not a moving around and here. chain lightning. Gotcha. I, I'm a shifting sorcerer because whenever I cast a spell, um, I can like use my bonus action to bamf around and just like gust of wind here gust of wind there gust of wind here and but like right now i'm not casting any spells i'm just three turns into a greater invisibility spell and halfway across the map from you teleporting people 
You are, however, in range of Faza, whose turn it is now. Can't help him. No. He's invisible. Yep. Never mind. Warp, have to, it has to be somebody that I see. <laughs> she can only target somebody she, she can see and she can't see him. I hope you all solve my turn? trouble for me. Uh, <laughs> is that Faza's we'll turn? Her. Yeah. Is that, is that uh, your turn, Arev, or Varian? Yeah, so somewhere between those two. Yes, it is yeah. my turn. I've actually dash. <laughs> hey, hey, you! You, hey were the, you! you were the yellow shirt. Uh, Dan. Uh, Faza will just yell out, Get back where I put you! And she's going to vortex warp her back into the fucking lava. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, let's roll for her again. It's a, what is it? Uh, it is a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Minus a seven. Nat 20. Minus a seven. Yeah, yeah but it's a nat 20. nat 20. That's fair. All right. Uh, then nothing happens. And do, 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 do. let me check bonus actions for her. Minus the seven. Go ahead. What did your total roll go? Um, she got, oh, so 29. It still doesn't matter. Uh, 29 minus 7 is not, it's 21. 28. Okay. 22. Math is hard. Jesus fuck! It does not, she passes. It, nothing happens. Okay. I am checking phase up for bonus actions. It's only five feet. Uh, but shove, believe it or not, does not require sight. So she, what she's going to do is she hears a rev, uh, she hears Varian running, and she's just going to give him a five foot shove in the direction <laughs> of the fight. Get in there. There you go. Varian, you are five feet closer to the fight. Yeah. Judging by the little pitter patter. <laughs> oh, Mwah. man. Poor Varian. That's all she can do. Uh, Leave him alone. He's traumatized. I mean, um, I'm I'm like, oh, nice. I'm like 90 feet away now. So I, I got plenty okay. of stuff I can do. There so he's in it. I mean, you I, will have to get closer. You have to get in sight of her. Again, or, this is not an open area. This is like a this area is a, a doorway. Oh, so like I can't see through the door. No, you cannot see through the door. That she's behind a wall. Oh, so Faza couldn't have done that anyways because she can't see her from where she is. No, she's like because she's higher. She Faza's very up high. She okay. can see in past the like. Okay, it's there. The roof is the same, but there are walls. Gotcha. She can see past the monoliths. Good. Yes, divider. But I cannot. Yes. Gotcha. Which is, again, what I told you in the beginning of the game. No, of course. Um, can I like run underneath that arch though, or like underneath the arch? You can run here. Yeah, like if I'm like running. Yeah, you can run there. Okay. You don't even have to get that close. You just have to be within like viewing distance of her. Like right now, she's behind a wall. On the steps, maybe you'd be able to do it like here-ish. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, face is done. It's Gilly's turn. All right. Um, we're gonna rage. First Bonus action: foremost. we rage. Heck yeah! We're gonna rage. Where's my wild magic table? Every time somebody I says, "I need to print this out." <laughs> I, I just hear just like a heads up. You oh, didn't go ahead. move the one attacking Gilly either. The chain guy. The one attacking Gilly is right here behind her. Okay, she moved. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, shit. I can teleport, guys. Hey, <laughs> for fuck's sake. All cool. right. Just bounce around this map. Yeah, I can do it as a bonus action on each of my turns. What shit. a great rage ability um, to get right now. Okay. <laughs> the uh, chaos is on your side. I'm going to go... I go behind them. But I don't want to just yeah. leave Damascus there with that chain guy either. Go for it. I'm fine. That's it. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, okay. In that case, yeah, good. I'm going to get I behind him. 
Yeah, Unless, go for are it. we trying to push her into the lava again? No. Okay, go I'm gonna go behind him then. Oops, sorry. Wait, I gotta switch to my little movie guy. I'm right there. So, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. So I suddenly teleport and go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then I hit him with my trident, because I can do that now. Excitingly. Yay, it's trident time. Uh, okay, that's a uh, 23 to hit on... 23 hits. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go dog face man again, I think. I'm gonna focus on him. I've decided I don't like him a lot. Um, so that is nine. What is that? Piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Plus, we're gonna do the title surge thing. I gotta make myself a flow chart. Nine plus seven, which is what kind of damage is that? Bludgeoning. So spiritually, water is hitting him. And then plus plus six because he's a fiend. Plus a D6 or plus six? Plus six. It was a D6, but I rolled a six. Okay. Nice. So yes. <laughs> Nine plus six. Okay, here we go. Cool. You don't. You turn around. You. He turns around to look at you, and you just stab him in the mm -hmm. stomach with your trident, and mm -hmm. a gust, a gust, a gush, a gush. Yeah, of spiritual water comes out. Uh -huh. I guess. Um, that is, I don't like any of these sentences that are coming out of your mouth right now. Um, <laughs> don't think about it. Go with it. Uh, th is that your turn? <laughs> Ew. Uh, I've got one more attack, I think, right? Okay. Okay, we're just gonna do it again. Because fuck this guy in particular. That hits God, again. Fucking... Okay, go. Go ahead. And we're getting, yep. okay, six plus nine, ten, eleven. Plus another two, 13 plus 7. What's 13 plus 7? 20. 20. Damage. And he takes another 20 damage. No, no, no. Not that much. Not that much. Get wrecked. <laughs> um, it is his turn next. Favorite oh, good. Quote. Breathing Get heavy. <laughs> Looking at you like he's about to rip your head off. He unloads five different attacks at you. Ah! Why so many? It's okay. it's okay. You're raging. You're raging. It's only happening. You're raging. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're raging. Yeah, you're raging. Uh, 20 to hit? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A 20 to hit and then a 16 to hit, which doesn't? Uh, hits it. Or like hit meets, meets my pizza? AC is 16. Okay, so yeah. okay, so he takes two massive scythe attacks. Uh and then the scythe disappears as he turns around and a stinger protrudes out of his butt. Oh, and no. uh he's going to try and sting you three more times. Dislike. 18 to hit. That hits. Uh-huh. 14 does not hit. And a 12 does not hit. So two of those okay. do not hit. Um, let's see the damage. The scythe attacks are slashing damage or a medium sized quick target gonna be grappled by ooh, or he's gonna grapple you. Ooh. By his uh small vestigial arms. Eh. Um, I don't like this guy. I'm glad yeah. that I focused on this guy. <laughs> let's kill him. So it's only he <laughs> does he does okay, so that's plus that. So 32 uh, slashing damage, which is halved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you are raging. 16. So that's 16 slashing damage. Then his stinger gets you at least once, which bleh, once, fuck words, which is uh, 12 piercing damage, so six, but I need a DC 15 constitution oh, no. saving throw. Okay. You're good at con. I should be good blessed. at con. Okay, uh, 
four or plus six. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you need to pass. 20. This. Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> you need, guys, you do not <laughs> want this to go through. Okay? Mm-hmm. Cool. Your insides will liquefy. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we need you to pass this. No. I like my insides. He's a Spider Man. Okay, so you're not poisoned. Spider Man. You're not poisoned. That's fine. Um, Oh, Damascus, at the start of your turn, you were supposed to take damage 2d6. Okay. You want me to roll it? Yes. Uh, Because you were in what's his face? Cool. I take nine damage. Um, and he takes 20 cold damage. Because I have armor of Agathis. And anytime I take damage... It's still only double 10. Check. It's fine. Hmm? It's still hmm. only 10. It doesn't and do I as much one... damage as you think. That's fine. And I have one point of armor of Agathis still up. Okay. As long as I have any, it does 20 damage when I get hit. Oh, shoot. He was supposed to make a saving throw or... Uh, for the title surge thing, or be knocked prone. Oh, for okay. So what out? is it? That's uh, he didn't move, so easy. he was gonna get up and get a fifth. Like it's only fifteen. Oh yeah, fair. So or no, he has half his movement to get up. So twenty. Yeah, he's good. Um, ba, 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 ba. for him though, he right after. Oh, I should have done this after your turn. It's fine. Randonel spends the time running towards you guys. <laughs> and after Randonel's turn, you see him glow just a little bit. And he looks a little healthier. Oh, I forgot about, to do my thing. About get... 10 points <laughs> Next is, uh, healthier. I'm just letting you know. Uh, okay. I'm so... with Radiant, see if it stops the healing. Ba-ba-ba. Who's next? Randonel has run. Our chain devil that got almost shot into the fire is about to pull a Spider-Man as you see that he flings chains from his wrist, pulling him back towards you. (laughs) Um, Unacceptable. I mean, yeah, you probably should have. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Recharge after short row. So I can see... Wide chains are gonna be worn carried. Um, ooh, I should have had some stuff. Oh shit! God damn it! He's the one with reactions. Fuck my life. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, he flies into you and he's going to make two chain attacks. Uh, for okay. an eighteen to hit and is... a uh, twenty-three to hit. Shield. Shield. Okay. Shield after the first one or the second one? Uh, the, after the second one, the first one misses. Okay, cool. Pew, pew, pew. He is right back in front of your face. Wait, no, he's over here. As he flew towards you. That is his turn. Everything Leave me missed. alone. What's your problem? Why are you, like, You're... obsessed with me? His chains kind of tinker together, and you and you get the idea that he's saying, You're pretty. I'm not into this <laughs> chain and whip stuff. I think. It's October You're not? 3rd. <laughs> I what? thought we could talk about it, but never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is our chain devil number two who um, walks over to Damascus and is going to make two of those attacks. Let's see. Uh, 15 and a 21. Both miss. Both miss. So. Never mind. They're not going to do anything. Okay. <laughs> it is Anya's turn. Whoa. And she is beside our Gilly. Yes? Uh-huh. Ooh. How much does she... Somebody roll me a, a d20. D... Uh, high, she's going after Varian because she wants him. And low, she's not. Oh, I rolled a that one. <laughs> Oh, okay. good. So she turns Excellent. to she turns to our uh, our Gilly here, and her her arm becomes like this, almost almost like a lance, 
just a straight lance of sharp glass. Sharp red hot glass, I might add. Good. That's 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 the best. That's so good. Cool. That's great. <laughs> uh 23 to hit. But yep. As the glass hits your chest, uh it begins to wrap around you. What? And um can I use my reaction? Two. Uh temporal shunt this bitch. Is that a time spell? Uh, It is not. It's a a, uh, transmutation spell. Okay. What does it do? Um, It's um, you target a creature which must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or vanish being thrown to a point in time causing um, the attack to miss or the spell to be wasted. Um, At the start of its turn, the target reappears. It's um, not a spell. It's the attack though. Yes. The attack to miss. Yes. (laughs) Well, it's, it's an attack roll or starts to cast a spell. Attack. So okay, it, yeah. So she's made an attack roll. Okay. Um. So wisdom saving throw on her. Wisdom end. saving throw. Let's see. Your wisdom is not horrible, but it doesn't help if you roll on that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so mad. Good looking out, Elaine. Excellent. Thank you. Where is but, she going? Uh, what's out. happening here? She just gets fucking yeeted. Um, I would love it to be wherever, like, would cause her the most pain, uh, honestly. Like, uh, roll me a d4 um, okay. from your angle, northwest, north, southwest, or whatever. So, like, whichever way that you are, I got north is at the bottom, we'll say. And okay, then so you... South. South. Okay. So she gets yeeted towards you. Uh, she gets she gets yeeted to another oh. point in time, causing the attack to miss. Uh, so she just she how uh, many uh, how many feet does she move, or does she just not she's just not there? She's just not there. She stays in the same position. She'll reappear. Okay, so she's turn just next turn. different. You yeah. see her. You see her wind up to make this massive attack. It begins to like almost pierce your flesh, and she's gone. Did I die? A whole round. She's gone. Yeah. Nice. Did I die? I think, <laughs> uh, I think Elaywin did a magic thing. Oh shit! Thank you. I forgot. <laughs> ah. Was that well your family one? <laughs> no, actually, that's even better than the bubble thing. <laughs> oh, the bubble seems um, fun. <laughs> Vistrixen looks at you all and goes. I should probably get to my mother before more of those chain devils show up. Oh, yeah. If you could do that, that would be yeah, so cool. good. And Go say uh, hi to your mother. Be a good son. <laughs> he, the look, he, he wants to have time to glare at you. He doesn't because <laughs> <laughs> the more will show up otherwise. Glaring uh, is a free action, going to... I think. <laughs> yeah, he's glaring as he runs. Oh, shit. He's got he's to gotta run by these guys. He's So he's going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, he has to leave through here. Um, he's going to take the hit. Yeah, he's going to take the hit. 10, 15, 20, 30. So he's dashed. But they're going to get a both get an opportunity attack on him. Are they stupid enough to take it? Uh, you have that program, somebody then. roll me 2d20s. High, they are stupid enough to take it. Low, they are not. Uh, I rolled a 10 on one and a 17 on the other. One of them is stupid enough to take it. One of them starts to go to hit him and is like, wait a second, I recognize this. Um, Our one that's been trying, our chain devil number one, the one that has been trying to fight Damascus this entire time, reaches out and just whips at, ooh, whips at him for a 27. Um, shit, that's going to hurt. So he's not going to continue that run. Oh, no, he can keep running. No, he's grappled. Ah. All right. So he takes 11 damage and is more or less (laughs) stuck in this. Guys. Why didn't you just dimension door again? I can't. 
Is he out? Really? <laughs> no. I can do it one more time. It's like his whole thing. He reaches out and just slaps you. From within, <laughs> from within the... <laughs> yeah, okay. So he's taken that damage and he is restrained. Mama! <laughs> That's what you hear. Mama! <laughs> uh, and he will stay here next to you guys. All right. Um, it is... It wasn't even his turn, was it? Yes, it was. No, it's not. It was, yes. Uh, winter. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I got so confused. Is. So Winter is going <laughs> to fly right on out to get within 10 feet of Gilly. So 5, 10, 15 feet in a straight line hovering over the lava. Uh, can I can I get into this space? It looks like there's space here. It's right like, here. It looks like it's me. There is space where? Right there? Yes, you can yeah. stand there. Cool. I am now 10 feet away from Gilly. So you are within my auras. What's up? Young Gilly. Um, I'm just going to quickly let you know that you, while you are within my auras, have lots of cool things. And also for those at home, you have my aura of protection. So uh, you have a plus five to all saving throws while you stay close to me. You also have uh, my aura of courage. So you cannot be frightened. And... Uh, also, I have the sun's warmth aura, which is a, a cool thing that's uh, unique to Winter's Oath of the Sun Seraphim uh, Paladin subclass. Uh, it doesn't get talked about a lot, but we're kind of like above lava, so I figured this might be relevant right now. <clears throat> it says, uh, me and all friendly creatures within 10 feet of me have resistance to fire and cold damage, and can tolerate temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. Additionally, uh, if I uh, choose to deal fire damage, I can choose to deal radiant instead or vice versa. So basically, fire and radiant is like the same to me. Um, but while you're close to me, you've got tons of cool shit. Thank you, Winter. Away, oh, favorite win. person. Oh, that Wait, just... is that no no that's, that... that was you that was not even your a uh, fucking attack. <gasps> oh, you were go ahead. Anything. Crush it, Winter. He still hasn't done no. anything. Yeah. No. Get him. And I, are any of you familiar with like the the sound of like somebody like sort of like slipping like a chain down their hand and just going like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you hear it, you can hear it all the whole time right now because there are two Jane devils doing that. <laughs> <laughs> as winter approaches, he starts to mimic that as he's taking the 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 frosted handle of the hammer in his hands. And as he's flying his wings, he his body's actually quite still as he almost just seems to like fall into place as if his entire presence here is simply just a, a matter of divine providence. And then he turns and looks at the crystal structure standing right beside him that seems to be standing in the place of someone who means a ton of terrible things to somebody that he loves and she his... is not there oh, it's, oh she's, she's not... gone yeah oh she yeah, she is not there yeah. until next turn oh she's, she's, she's been missing? yeeted away oh fair okay then what who's the purple one that is yeah, her the black but she's not is... there she's who... just not there Bugman's there that's Dog the pink face. one yeah oh yeah no, but the, she the Dog man. the purple blue dude blue she so. looks black to me those purple it's, to me. It's a very, very dark blue. Okay, fair. Bug we'll call, we'll call it indigo and we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Split the difference. It, it literally, it's in the middle. Uh, so then he'll turn to pink dog. Man. For some reason, I thought pink was Anya. Um, so pink turn is to... Anya. She is not there. I thought you were talking. When you said purple, I was like, who the fuck is purple? No one. <laughs> Wait. Uh, she got shunted for a round. Yeah. Okay. Pink Anya. But dark above blue winter. Bug man. Bugman, above winter, turning Bugman. to Bugface Dogman, who also <laughs> seems Bugface to have Dogman. all of those things that I was recently discussing. Okay, that's equally shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and his wings just like flick out a layer of frost into the air as like a, a sort of a glittery cascade behind him, and he brings his own uh, Veter's Warhammer, Forge Hammer. 
swung in front of him with two hands and he's not even taking pre like it, it it's like it almost looks slow as he takes it up and it like there's like an echoing image of frost of the hammer as it goes above his head and he just palms it to start spitting it and he tries to bring it down um and he's gonna make three attacks attack extra attack and hasted attack um yeah. on on this lovely beautiful um type of dog that you would take home and uh brag to all your friends about oh, isn't he so ugly <laughs> so win one of those ugly dog contests so that would be a 23 a 28 and a 14 to hit uh yep a 14 to hit at the last one yes no okay so two but hit two hit Cool. Uh, so that, that that sort of after image of Frost that was like pulling up the hammer above, he, he like just smacks the back of the hammer and like a, a ringing of a bell, just boom, the hammer <laughs> falls and uh, into the shoulder of the this creature. And like the impact of it, like as like it hits and is forcing the body down, Winter simply tenses his muscles and the strength alone rips past through, uh, not turning for a second strike, but it's like the impact was one, and forcing it past the body with his strength was another, like utilizing the toughness of the creature to like, just further impact. And uh, he's not going to smite or anything. He's just being extra. So <laughs> that's a bunch of damage. Because it's 1d8 plus the extra d8s from that cool divine thing uh whenever I hit with melee it's an extra 1d8 yes so i'm doing 48 plus the radiant soul bonus which is 12 okay that's a lot of damage it's just gonna be a lot of damage hang on one second sorry math that's what i like to hear you're not throwing spikes on top? Okay. I was not, because I don't know what's coming. Right now is not the time. Um, so that was... It's actually not a lot of damage. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, three <laughs> plus six is... Just a lot of dice. Nine plus... Yeah, right? Uh, I rolled really low. I rolled like a one, two, two, and four. So three plus six Every is nine. It counts. Plus 12 is 21 plus the two attacks and my bonus, which is another 12. So 33. Um, and I think that's it for the bonuses. Are Radiant you Soul... sure that you don't want to add any smites on that? I mean, if you're going to bring it in like that, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fine. Let's add. Let's add is, smites. Also, are they considered a fiend or undead? They are a fiend. Oh, it's also an extra plus 1d6. So nice. hang on. 2d6. Oh, yeah, because it's you per strike. Twice. That's right. That's an additional plus six. So that's a 39 because I rolled a six on the first one and a four on the next one. So we're already at 43. And then let's throw in a, 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 let's throw in a second level smite. So it's an ad Yay. another 48 because it's a fiend, right? Dude. Yeah, not, a, not a lot of points at all. No, <laughs> not really any damage. <laughs> so that was that was forty four. Well, well, it wasn't gonna be. <laughs> it was still uh, like thirty three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. sure. Paladins are gross. Mm. Paladins are gross. Uh, so f I was at forty three plus another eleven, and then I got to roll one more. Damn. Uh, plus another fourteen, so fifty seven <laughs> total points of damage. Are you sure winter. that you don't okay. want to add one more on top of that? <laughs> well, fine. Let's do it. Let's do yeah, a third true. level smite and just add another five to eight. Because why not? Because <laughs> uh, so, uh, nothing's better than a paladin being like told by the DM to go Nova. <laughs> yeah, so do let's it. do it. Get him, get him, uh, get him. So, uh, what was that last number I said? 50 56, I think. Was it let's call it 56? I can't remember. Um, plus another 
shit, 13 is 69 plus 2, nice, uh, 71, <laughs> and two more dice to go. Jeez! Damn! Plus 11, so 80, 80, 82, 82 points all told. And as, as he, like, takes that second impact, because he sm- smote once on the first strike, which is, like, the echoing, the frost that, like, came forward... But like as it actually strikes and he's pulling his mu- his muscles tense and he's pulling the hammer through, what he does is he slides his hand up in that moment to the back of the hammer, and there's actually um there's a crest of Veter that's been known to appear in workmanship and that's been blessed by his craft and it's been uh it's been all around the world that like it's it's been prayed to it's basically his holy symbol, and as he racks his hand along the rhyme of ice on the back of his hammer there's just this winter's song that seems to ricochet a small storm around his hand as the crest literally emanates in a five foot shape around the back of the hammer and he rips it jaggedly through the side of the body cracking the carapace and going straight through he lights up with this otherworldly divine energy that should not he should not have access to at this time in his life especially or here but you watch as the dog breath the uh demon in front of you begins to freeze from the inside out until like sub zero from freaking uh <laughs> mortal kombat when that when he pulls his uh, hammer right back through the creature, it shatters into a million pieces, dead. Phenomenal! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shit, wait, that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you see him, kills. you see him breathing <laughs> heavy, and he's like. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Pitcher is like my favorite. He's just He's so cool. Yeah. The development, man. Alewin. It's me. It's my turn. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got two chain doubles left, correct? You have two and chain then whenever chain, chain ju- fucking words. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um I am going to do a level vitrolic sphere at um don't judge me the one that uh does not have extrixen grappled because if i try and hit the the one that's got him it'll hit extrixen as well um, yeah go for it okay uh can i get a dex saving throw from uh the chain devil the, number the two chain. dex saving throw 21 ah Okay, he takes half though, right? <laughs> was it? It was lightning. I know uh, it's acid damage. Uh, oh no! Ooh. What spell are you using? Uh vitrolic sphere. Um, Nef- hold on, let me yeah, see. no. Oh, Shit. on a successful save, it takes half damage. Yeah, it takes half damage. I, cool. I set myself up, you guys. I forgot that I did that nice. when I started doing all my other spells. So it'll be a fourth level. So I'm going to. Um, it's going to be ten d four, and then at the end of the target's next turn, it'll also take another. Um, 5d4, which it'll be half. So it can be only just if a it second. fails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's uh, true. It's also a 20 foot radius. I hate that. Oh, for well. <laughs> Hold on. Frickin'. Hold on. I thought it said 150 feet. Range. 20 oh, foot radius. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Hold it's on. fine. Uh, it's fine. You'll live. Uh, l- 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 you can all take that much damage. You just take a point of cold damage in advance. <laughs> Only melee attacks. Okay. It's gotta be within melee range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just uh I apologize. It's okay. Let's just magic missile it. this fucker. And, uh, cause all, all I have right now, I have a lot of thunder and fire spells. So I'm just like, Meh. yeah, um, yeah. Do, let's magic... do what? Do the acid. And Dan's like, do the acid. I don't care. That's what you, that's what you said you wanted to do. Do it. It'll yeah, but I, it, it's, I did it at fifth level. It's going to be, um, 
10 D four. So everybody, I'll, just... I'll give everybody a deck save. Look, we just learned that Damascus is the opposite of an arc. <laughs> do, do the acid. Burn okay. me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Strixen is like, no, no, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yes, it's right. Fine. It's up to you. Uh, no, I, d I don't want to hit you guys because I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we'll just we'll just magic missile at uh, fifth level. The uh, the. Uh, the one that does not have him grappled. So it immediately hits. So give me just a second. The level six. And this will be force damage, obviously. Wow. Riveting. Um <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Ten points of force damage. <laughs> uh done. Ten points Amazing. of force damage. Um we love it. Oh my god, cool. Yeah. I am the worst at using reaction. Huh? What level did you I cast mean, it at? Uh fifth level, but I got like a lot of ones. So Oh, it's <laughs> Okay. Um ba -ba -ba -ba, the creature I can see the devil must be yeah. okay, so at the very least, anyone who starts his turn within 30 feet, um Needs to make a uh, needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Just after this, because it's a reaction, apparently. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thirty feet of this. So me. Yes, you. And Vistrixen. Oh. Bro. Twenty one. Fascinating. Vistrixen is dead inside. He feels nothing. It's fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> a rev would beg to differ. <laughs> uh it's like you guys you guys are fine um is that your turn yeah yeah that's my turn damascus go a damascus will uh they're, 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 i can fix them i swear <laughs> <laughs> um how are our chain chain bars looking one of them's looking pretty rough uh chain double number one that's been fighting you consistently the one okay. that has uh, the Strixen restrained. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and free this, this Strixen. I will hit him with... I'll do two on him, one on the other. Eldritch Blast. Of what? Okay. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and then... Yeah, Good luck, this. bud. <laughs> you got uh, this. <laughs> I will also do a... Uh, what is it called? I'm looking at the wrong sheet. Um, my hex, my radiant hex. I'll radiant hex the uh less hurt one, so he'll take an extra okay. d six of damage. So, so you aim your sword at Vistrix, and he's like, "Don't, don't you dare!" <laughs> Close your eyes. What? Don't you trust me? <laughs> no. As a blast of energy, just two blasts of energy just come flying out of it. That one, you hit Whoa. him. I didn't get in that one. And okay. I have bless as well. Uh, so we get two, 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 two. My lowest one was a seventeen. Uh both hit. Cool. All hit. Sorry. And then the other one is also a seventeen. So yeah, all three hit. Cool. And I'll do the one that has Vistrixen first. He takes. Eight. Uh, six plus fourteen. He takes twenty. I'm doing do, gonna do radiant damage. I'm hoping it does extra down here. Okay. Worth a shot. Oh, twenty. I might have to add an extra. Are these devils? They are. I Guys, every digital. fucking time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're called uh, chain devils. Everybody. That For fuck's sake. Sense. Yeah, I think Jack. That was twenty-seven radiant damage then. You're so close. Ah! So close. Ah! He's holding on to life <laughs> with well, he has six blown... hit points. God damn it. Uh... He has blown 20 feet back. Holding on for dear life, okay? Uh, so let's see here. 5, 10, 15, 20. 
8 and 14 is 22 to the other one, as he's also 22. low 10 feet back. So that is my brat. Okay. And 20 to that one. All right. And then I yell at Miss Jackson, now go talk to your mother, as I <laughs> move a little bit closer to uh, Winter so I can get his aura. He just yelled, yeah, you shot me. Um, You're fine. Varian. Oh, yeah, that's me. Uh, so the, the first thing that I want to do is still, you know, move closer to what's going on. So um, if I move one, two, three, four, five, six, right about here. So. Oh, you're still so far away. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying right so here. hard. She's not back yet. Just so you're aware, if you want to hold a spell, I'll let you. I am going to actually. So, um, right here, can I move? Could I still sort of see her if she reappears? Yes, you can see her from there. Okay, perfect. If you so... run up onto the stairs, hey. right there. I, I mean, I'm invisible and nobody knows I'm there, and I'm very, very <laughs> quiet. But, um, I am going to begin to cast a sixth level spell. Yo. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, you do. You do that. But I'm holding it from when I see my murderer. <laughs> Amazing. Faza. There. As is right and good. Well, that's going to be great. Uh, Oof. Yeah, she's going to use the sorcery point because she is going to careful spell the upcoming spell. She is going to hit. What is the range of you? 30 foot radius. Beautiful. She's going to hit. Uh, basically, there, 15, bam, bam, perfect. So right behind where Damascus is, behind and to the left, she is going to hit this area with, mm -hmm. um, sickening radiance. So it'll hit all of our monsters, including, uh, Anya when she returns. Okay. Thanks. And when a creature moves into the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn there, it must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take some radiant damage. So it doesn't do anything right now, but there is like glowing light in this area. And uh, because she's using careful spell, all of the allies automatically succeed and there's no half damage. So we're Huzzah. all fine. Gilly. Um, let's see. I can use my tentacle now because I've already raged. Okay, the tentacle. Are is you back dropping your rage? Oh yeah, no, you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I can keep the rage up. But okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and honestly, I don't think I even have to move the tentacle because I think it was probably in this area. Anyways, I can move it if I need to. Wait, no, Anya's not back, is she? No, not yet. She's less not than, there. Okay, less yeah. than six seconds ago, you just watched Winter shatter somebody into his shards of ice. Yes. Oh yeah, he's gone. I that was fun. Him. <laughs> uh, there I enjoyed is... that part. It's There's this guy over here. Okay, that guy, and then the guy on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go for that guy then. Let's just kind of inch up over here. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll tentacle him because why not? I got the tentacle. Please hold. We got 13 plus five. It's 18 hit chainman. Yes. Okay, so he's gonna take. Four points of cold damage from my tentacle. It just goes. Pfft. He's going to take two points of cold damage. All right. <laughs> Every little, little bit, bit counts, man. Yeah. Yeah, he I just know. looks super annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so annoyed. And then can I um save an action for when Anya comes back? Hold an action? Yes. Okay. I'm going to do that with one of my actions. And then with my other action, I will pokey poke with my little trident on this chain boy. Um, 20. 23. Does it 23? Yes. Assume, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do. Okay. 26. 2. 3. And then. So I gotta get all my. I'm just gonna get all my dice together. Is he resistant to any sort of damage? Did I need to yes. parcel out? 
Um, is it piercing, bludgeoning? You were hitting yeah. him with a magical weapon, so you're fine. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm going to roll them all at once. Eight. You got 11, 15, 16, plus 7. So, 23, I think? 23 damage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He got bort. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to hold an action for when Anya comes back. These guys are looking super rough. Yeah. Uh, Randonel spends his time running. Just being like, fuck you guys. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Chain Devil over here, our number one that just hates fucking Damascus. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is Probably going to run back up, run back up to Vestrix and who hasn't been able to move yet, and make his attacks at, at the start of his turn. From the sickening radiance, he takes oh yeah radiant damage. He dies. He runs into the cloud of whatever, and he dies horribly. Oh, um, nice. <laughs> runs into this cloud of light and just starts sizzling Ugh. as the chains wait, 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 wait. just it's like is a it fork a and a microwave uh, melt together. Is it poison? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! He needs to make a. It's a. Con, it's a radiant. He needs to make a con save. I forgot. Oh, it's radiant. Um, I don't think he can. It's a con save. I don't think he's gonna pass this. Uh, fifteen. Does not oh. pass. So he takes fifteen. Okay, so he dies horribly. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then chain devil number two. Go ahead. He's going con to save. make his save. Uh, Twenty-one. That passes. Is he fine? Does he take uh, half yeah, damage? There's no half, there's no half damage on this spell. That's why um, she cast it, so that we didn't all get hurt. Is going to immediately attack Damascus for killing his BFF. I didn't do it. What's your problem? And he's blaming you. He doesn't know who FaZe is. <laughs> um, That's fair. That's, yeah. If you can't kill and the one you want, to... kill the one you're with. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, 17 to hit, which doesn't. And a 21? Uh, 21... Uh, I had my turn yet? I don't remember. Did I cast shield this round? Who does? I'll cast shield again. That doesn't hit then, so he does absolutely nothing to you. And he looks pissed. Um, <laughs> Anya, at this point, hops back into existence, looking like she has fought her demons and lost. Um, con save. <laughs> and, yes. and does a con save. Uh, for a 19. Uh, that yes. Passes. Yeah, yeah, that passes. Holding and my. I action. have a thing. Wait, yes, yeah, yes, who, I am aware well. that everyone is holding fucking okay. action. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <For> seconds, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because Gilly go because oh, no, a rev goes first. Go ahead, a Varian. Fuck. Varian. A rev's body. Hey. It's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> so. So see the thing is. Got a bit of a roiling storm sort of stuck inside of me. And these uh, chain devils there, they gave me a bit of an idea about how chain the storm the could get chained between things. <laughs> but my magic's also a little bit weird. There's this uh, meta aspect to it called the transmuting. <laughs> so it's more of a chained thunderous noise oh, and shatter her as i reach out with my hands what would normally be uh, what you see is lightning just start to appear in a space because you can't see my hands but i see it like rippling around my fingers and then i condense the lightning into this sort of concussive like noise and there's this shrill noise that goes to the air and i simply pull my hand back and go <laughs> and it rockets out across the arena, creating sort of a, a twirly, like, um, almost like like an air twining effect as the con literally ripples through the air, mirage like across the arena. Um, over a, uh, the range is 150 feet. So Anya pops up, and I just ripple this concussive noise across the arena. And she needs to make a dexterity saving throw for my chain She's thunder. She's so good at these. She's so good at these. Uh, 15. I have a 19. So 
That is a fail. Um, and then it would also burst from uh, another creature about 30 feet away. So it would ri- ricochet to the Chain Devil, which is within Ooh, 30 feet. Him do his dex, 21. That does pass. So um, she will take 10d8 thunder damage, yep. and then the Chain Devil will take half. Okay. Nice. This is this is good. This is what I like. This is the stuff. This is this is why we play D anD. d Lots of dice. Let's get it rolling. Marion is making quite the entrance into the combat. Oh, also because he cast a a thunder spell, he gets to kind of bamf ten feet in a direction. So he's just gonna go over here. Yay! Ten feet closer. That's oh, good. Diagonal. He's still invisible, so he just doesn't want to be where from the point of origin of the spell. <laughs> fair. Oh, that's not a bad fair, idea. Fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, oh, nice. Okay, that's a good start. Um, 7, 14, 21, uh, 27. Uh, 27 plus 7 is 34, plus 8 is 42, plus 4 is... Was it 32, right? So this would be 36. Yeah. You say 42? I, didn't I say thought 42? you were 42. 42 okay, 42. Yeah. So 46 and then 2 more D8. Thank you. Sorry. Nice. Math is hard sometimes. Oh, no, totally understand. Okay, 46 plus 12 is 58. It's 58 points of thunder damage to the chained devil and to Anya. Ooh. Let's go. One of her god, you blow off one of her arms. It just disintegrates into these little pieces of crystal. As she looks, she whips around and looks in the direction that it came from. Still yeah, unable to see you. Lance. I'm very far away. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows you're here. Oh, yeah. And you hear, Marion? Nope. Go back to hell. <laughs> Go back to hell. Not you me. Bitch. <laughs> uh, Hazel. Wait, I got my thing. Oh yeah, you fuck. Yep. Go ahead. Thank you. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast Chill Touch on this bitch. Um, so a ghostly skeletal hand. I think probably just like kind of gets all up in her face. Um. <laughs> Grab her by yeah, the nose let's and see. just start wiggling it. Well, wait. <laughs> I have to make a spell attack, so let's see if it does. Hopefully it does. Okay, 14 plus. Night. Wait, 18? Does 18 hit? That hits. Okay, good. Um, So she takes 3d8 necrotic damage. Hold on. Let me do those. So. 10... 10 necrotic damage, and then she can't regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Okay. Ha-ha. Okay. She is stumbling around. That's literally uh, so clever, Carol. Yeah, very good. It's a um, helpful spell. What is FaZe going to do this turn? It's not FaZe's turn. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it's... that was a held action. That wasn't. Those oh, right. Held Shit. Actions. We're from the top it's, of the goddamn. It's Anya's, <laughs> it's Anya's turn. Is that it... was Anya coming right. back. Yes. Fuck mm-hmm. me. Okay. Well, I can't then. even keep up with what's going on this count. This combat. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Got a lot of pieces moving around. Mm-hmm. Shit. All right. She's going to make a multi attack uh, because she's on her last legs. Oh, would she run? Would she run? Roll me a d20, someone. High she runs, low she stays. This feels like I mean, a James roll. I, yeah. I, I I can tell you what I would have in mind, because I think, canonically, with the type of person that she is, knowing Varian is in the room, having watched Bugface Monster get eradicated, yeah. which was like one of her like goals with what she was doing previously... But not knowing where the fuck I am, and I blasted yeah. off her arm, she would go. I think she would too. I think she would too. Um, 
All right, what's your speed? Hang on. Okay. So, yeah, she fully panics and disappears into the ground once more. Is it um, a spell? No, it's just yeah. her ability to, like, because she's First been five. here so long. Uh, so, five, ten, like, fifteen. I'm sorry, that's not so satisfying. No, uh, here's the thing. It might be, because she... Winter gets an opportunity attack. Ooh. Ooh. She's he doesn't, his... no. Ah. She's underground. Oh, she's, got a, she's got a thing? Yeah, she, not for this. Uh, she just burrows underground. Huh. Um, but she can only stay underground as much as she as her movement. So she pops up, actually, in front of Varian. Behind Ooh. this little bit here, where no one can get her. Oh shit! She pops up. She ca she has to come back up, and so she can tremor sense and she can see him, mm -hmm. which means that yes, <clears throat> she can see you now. But she is also not looking great, and you Sorry. go before her next time. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh shit! Yeah, she looks at you. She goes, "There you are." But that's her turn. She can't do this and yeah. attack at the same time. Ooh. But she can see you, Varian. You are invisible, and she is looking straight into your eyes. Okay. The Strixon books it towards his mother. Um, no chain drivels are coming down. Winter. You don't know where she is, but what do you do? Or are we just going to let, are we just, do we just want to cycle through this? So back to Varian, guys. Oh, I'll have to move on my turn. Turn. So, yeah. yeah there I'll is be... like one devil left, right? Yeah. Um, There's one devil left right here and, and her, and she's almost dead. And she's <laughs> in the room with Varian. And Faza. Right? And Faza. Okay. Do we know that? I can still do my teleporting thing, come to think of it. Winter. Mm -hmm. Uh well, Winter is if if she went away, it's probably on cleanup duty, not knowing where she went. So like he'd fly over and try to smack the devil. So still hasted. Uh 28. 19 and Damn. 22 to hit. Damn. I'm not even going to make you roll mm -hmm. because oh you will dear. kill him. Okay. He is that. He's like, he's got that many hit points left. Okay. Winter just annihilates this guy. He, 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 like, as he's like flying over, it's like he like tries to stop and his wings flick forward and his wings just like dust it backwards and it falls over. It falls into the fucking lava. <laughs> And that's he, it. It's gone. He's just like he's like, oh, that's that's one way to do it, I guess. <laughs> you guys just destroy <laughs> these things. Um, Elaywin, give me. Um, I. I'm gonna be. I'm. We don't know where she went. No, you don't. As far okay. as you're aware, you're out of combat. Okay. Um, Elaywin will um just use her her movement to get a little little closer to um uh the the mama vic strixen without without going in that area yeah okay so i'm just gonna move a little closer to uh what she thinks is our objective because damascus. Yeah. uh damascus will i guess step over the chain in front of him and just be like I guess we're going to talk to your mother to Miss Strixon and head that way as well. Oh. Varian. <laughs> Varian. D is she looking at me? She's looking at you. She hasn't looked away from you. So Varian drops his greater invisibility and looks up at this form. What face is this? 
It's the only one I'm allowed to wear now, considering you slayed the last one off of me. But you know what? You owe me some fucking answers. And I'm going to cast telekinesis, and I'm going to try and rip her 30 feet into the air. Okay. What's What save is that? Uh, she needs to make a strength saving throw against a DC 19 strength save. 24. You chose something that she's very good at now. Uh, I was really hoping there was still cutting words available. <clears throat> there is not. No, there's not. Um, can I... I can't see her, but given positioning, I can see Varian cast a spell. Can I throw my lucky at him and have her re-roll it? I have can't one lucky her, left. No. I can't see her. Okay. Let's try. Dang. I well, I had no way. I had no way of knowing. I like I, I want answers, and my instinct was pick her up. Make make her stay. You wasted your turn. That's yep. That's the unfortunate part. I tried. 19's not a bad save, but like 24 beats it. That's this is the game. It do be like that. It do oh. be like that. Be like that. Luckily for you, FaZe goes next. Yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck him up, FaZe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when you Faisa. when you try to telekinesis her up in the air, she shakes her head, her hair tinkers, and she looks at you, and then she laughs. <laughs> I thought there would be more to you. And then Faza. Too bad for you, he's not alone. And she will blast her with a... I'm just trying to figure out which of her spells is best. You know what? Fuck it. I don't know how hurt she is, but I know she is hurt. Uh, to hell with it. Disintegrate. Yeah, fuck yeah. Go for it. <laughs> All right, she disintegrates. That's a deck saving throw. Deck save. She gets a five. He's not alone. She goes to look over her shoulder. And Faza hits her with a disintegration ray. All of this dark energy that she is quite normally what Faza's magic is. There is no Atma in this. She is pulling from everything that Tamina has ever given her. And hits this very undexterous woman directly in the face and you hear her scream and then begin to fall apart. She looks at you as you all are out of initiative now. She looks at you, Varian, and goes, sorry, but fuck that bitch. <laughs> And then she vor she gets off this. She slides down the uh, massive skull that she is standing on and runs to you. Are you okay? Yeah, no, honestly. Uh, fuck that bitch. And like he, but like he's staring at the empty space where like the dust of her is like billowing. He's, yeah, no. This is how it should be. Faza hugs you. That make enough of a noise that we like can tell that something was happening in there. A hundred percent. Do they okay. hear the <laughs> like the disintegration? Right. Mm -hmm. You heard That's her scream. You things. heard. You heard Anya scream. <laughs> yeah, like the Wilhelm scream there for That's a second exactly. there. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll take a quick five minute break. Yeah. Or do you guys right. want to just push through to the end here? Up to y'all. A break's a good idea. Quick yeah, yeah, we'll take a quick five-minute break, break, and we'll be back. And then we'll finish off your time in Iraq. Hi, we're back from our break. Um, Varian just choked. He l wasted his last attempt to be able to figure out why his aunt had used him or killed him. And Faza, in the moment, saw Varian panic 
and disintegrated Anya. And she is no more. What, uh, what are we doing? What are you, what are you doing, Varian? Uh, Varian is currently being hugged by Faiza, mm -hmm. um, as he's staring at these swirling piles of, like, pink glittery dust that was once the first eldest druid, um, Anya Arbor, the, the one who had a, a, all the knowledge of Rhea, like, as it was informed, one of the last connections still kind of living, as far as you could tell, to his own body and his own time, swirling around him like so many shredded promises. And he's just sort of glibly replying, faces, you know, checking on him, being like, oh, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, of course. No, fuck that bitch. Yeah, no, she deserved to die. Uh, not giving her any of that internal turmoil. Uh, at this point, Ren and L finally makes it to you guys. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So much help. Okay. <laughs> so he just kind of claps you on the shoulder. Varian. Varian like, shakes his head and he looks down and goes, Oh, hey, it's you. That's kind of funny. Uh, so, uh, and then he like pauses and he looks at Renanel and he just quietly says, just so quietly, that Renanel and Faiza are the ones that could hear him. And he goes, I shouldn't be here. And he lets go and slips away and Arab's head kind of dips and he goes, uh, we good, we good? Um, yeah, uh, I don't think Varian's good. How, how, I think at this time, Damascus definitely would have come running back. How much do you remember of what just happened? Um... Most of it. Um, so it, it was kind of weird. Uh, a lot of the time when Varian takes over, I sort of black out, right? But recently, both the last time and this time, I, I had more of a graying out, not a blacking out. I was still sort of present. I just, I would get, you know, snippets and flashes here, especially when he, he used... Uh, the the magic. I, I don't know whether you know this or not, but he's using my body. So when he casts spells, he uses magic that... Everybody knows that. Oh. Everybody knows that. <laughs> okay, well, I know that now because uh, okay. I've, I've never woken up not rested as myself. This is the first time that I've ever um, yeah. kind of done this where he... I, I'd not just... So, anyways, yeah, uh, we have one share of magic. Um, and when he uses his stuff that he knows how to do, and when I do, it's all the same. Um, which is really philosophically interesting when I consider the druidic niche. And that's not a conversation for <laughs> right now. So okay. now. Yeah, yeah. We've okay. got so much stuff to talk about, Dick. Ren and I'll just grabs you, gives I, you a big hug. Like a, a rev now that he's a rev, like his arm sort of slips low around uh, Renanel's waist and just kind of like naturally falls into place there. But he's like he's still talking. He like doesn't. It's just like so comfortable that he like doesn't even seem to think about it. And it was, Damascus, yeah, rev, you are a very competent bard. Appreciate that it. accent was shit. Let me try again. It was. <laughs> kind of like you have to practice. Have to give the little, little bit, a little, little bit, of a little. I oh, can't, can't do it now. <laughs> Please no. 
just uh <laughs> Faisa walks up to you and she's like teeth, the I no, the... no, 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 honey. No. You know, Sorry. accents are just not your thing. But it's okay. Just... You're good at ev- everything else. Ev- I'll stick with that. Everything else. Though that may be. It's just because my natural voice is just so luring. Why would anyone want to change it? Exactly. I mean, <laughs> she that's just a good way to put it. You did your best, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. She's, good she's just placating him. Uh, do you guys walk down the catwalk? Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely interested yes. in getting oh, yes. Vic Strixen over to his mom. <laughs> A- oh, Vistrix is yeah. What has he been doing? Her around now. Okay. Yeah, uh, Alewin is has has stayed where Vistrix is and is engaging uh, with that. As you guys are walking down the catwalk, you hear chains moving above you, and you see yeah. that there are almost hundreds of chain devils in this room. Ah! Thanks, Vistrixen. <laughs> that could have been worse. Yep. Oh. Oh, warning. Attached to the room that you had just come in from is a cavern of lava with heat radiating from the molten rock below. The walls are jagged and rough with veins of, again, lava running through them, casting an eerie red glow across the space. Spanning the ca- across the cavern is a narrow catwalk bridge suspended above a seething pool of the Moltenous rock below you. Thick metal chains hold the catwalk in place. And now you know above them are a whole bunch of chain devils. At the end of the bridge is a large ornate throne towering above the fiery abyss. The throne is made of a blackened metal um, intricately twisted into images of hellish creatures and scenes of torment. Its armrests are adorned with jagged spikes and a large skull with glowing red eyes rests at the top of the backrest. Despite the heat, the throne appeal uh, appears very cool and inviting. Almost as if drawing you in. And sitting atop the throne is an enormous tiefling woman. No longer, okay, no, you don't know who she is yet. I will, I will describe her when you get closer and you've made an interaction. But I'm going to drop a picture in the chat for you guys. Like As you guys are show. approaching, you you see Vistrixen run up the side of the steps, like up, up, run up to the, the chair, um, and there are little steps that go up closer to her, to higher to her head, and he runs up to, to them, and she leans down, and he gives her a kiss on the cheek. Mother, <clears throat> grandmother was trying to kill you. Please don't kill anyone. And she... Her face is impassive. It's like stone. You can't read anything on it. She looks at him and she looks over to you. And she beckons. Uh, One sec while I get you this image of her. Is there anything that you guys are doing in this time? Uh, Elaine oh. had clocked the whole grandmother was trying to kill you bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, a, a rev is just. Ooh, she's scary. Trying to get across. <laughs> nice. You guys all. She oh. just she sits staring at you. Until every one of you has collected in front of her, she has. All the time in the world. Um, <laughs> what do you say? 
She's not, she, you came to her. She is sitting there completely impassive watching you. Oh, uh, awesome. I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Like Strixon, do I get an introduction? Mm. Mother, this is a... Oh, you're a Rev again. This is a Rev. He just, that's all he says. That's literally all he says. <laughs> I, I, I look at this giant stone-faced, um, <laughs> radiant-hearted being, and I go... Hi, I'm a Rev. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry that your son isn't, you know, more eloquent. And I kind of shoot him a glance. Hmm. You're in the presence of Apna, the mother of sickness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Has something clicked? <laughs> um, no longer a human mortal from Iowan. Apna's appearance has taken on almost an otherworldly quality. Her skin is now shimmering, iridescent, an iridescent shade of pale blue, almost like moonstone. The swirling scars on her body seem to glow with a faint silvery light, almost as if they're reflecting the light rather than giving it to, like, being able to reflect create it wow my words and you see that she is covered in scars all over her body um the horns that have grown from her head are also a pale blue and they curve elegantly around her head like a crown her hair is long and black like the void of space but it seems to almost sparkle with silver highlights in the light. Her eyes, now a deep, unforgiving black, have an intense power to them. She sits on her throne and with regal poise, long dress flowing around her like waves, uh, with long, like diaphanous sleeves that hang from her arms. Uh, the crown of wire and bone that is her, that is her horns that she wears, is adorned with pearls and intricate. And you can tell that it it's mimicked, it mimics the scars of her body. So it's made to look like those scars. Um, there is a large hole in her chest where you see underneath that glowing bright heart of hers um it pulsates it's still alive it's still acting like a normal heart but it is i mean obviously something like this should kill a normal person so it is a testament to her not being human anymore or mortal but despite her terrifying reputation as the mother of sickness there's a very haunting beauty to apna her her movements are very fluid and unhurried and when she speaks you will hear a very soft and melodious voice um she sits on her throne suspended above the cavern of lava you occasionally see a wisp of white leave from that heart of hers and fly off into nothing and then one come back and rejoin. Elaine <laughs> is far more composed. Um, she does a couple little uh, markings and runes as if like to fact check a, uh, um, for like a millisecond um, before she does like a, like a respectful nod at Apna and she's definitely, definitely like holy shit um but in that moment uh where she's like kind of deeply nodding at her uh she goes your son tells us that you can get us out of this place and uh surely i can see why he assumes such 
She's she, so cool. her eyes very, very slowly scan all of you for landing on you, Alewin, as you spoke. And she looks at you and she goes, I can open the portal and you will be the ones to call your goddess. Nascus pulls out a coin stamped with Belloth's power. I might have the means to do that. She promised I know. I... I'm sure you do. I imagine there are a great many things you know. Are you aware of the condition that your people are currently under? My children. Your children, then? You aware of what's being done to them? Yes. Why do you think you're here? As another piece of her soul leaves her body and floats off into nothing. Are you recycling their souls there? Clever. I've seen some all of their before. souls are mine. And Vistrixen will look at you and he'll say, my siblings do not come with their own souls as they are from here. So mother splits hers and gives them all a piece of hers so that they may live a more normal life. So, forgive me if I overstep by asking. Then how is it that they are all turned to madness so easily? Is it a simple trick of what works on your soul works on them all? Vistrixen will answer. He looks at you. And as you've spoken again, she her head turns and she's regarding you and it feels almost like she's looking into every piece of you it's a very penetrating stare and Vistrixen says before you arrived there was an influx of pieces of her soul banished from their current bodies. <clears throat> so the madness isn't with, it's without. Mm. They are easily twisted after that. Is there a way to undo that? Hi, Gilly. Um, is there a way to <laughs> put the souls back into? She looks at you really slowly again. And then you see her go, no. They are dead and gone. Oh. How do we stop it from continuing to happen so that no more like that are made? Kill my husband. Kill his minions on the other side. And I will continue to split my soul. Husband, <clears throat> who again? And she's going to glance at uh, Vic Strixen, your father, obviously. But remind well, me. I'm sure Varian is quite aware of who he is, as he is his cousin. Uh, 
Edouin. In your head, you can feel Varian almost shiver. It, yeah, he shivers and he shrinks even further back. Arev kind of has a quiet moment where he like calls back like into his head. He goes, Varian? And there's like no response. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sounds easy enough, I suppose. As long as we could get back. Obviously. Uh, would it be possible as a rev to make um I don't know whether it's maybe like a, a history check? Would like if there were may, were there any books uh, I would have read like in the colleges or the like the Druidic schools um about like the history of the family of the, the first druids or like what happened to them in the war or anything? <laughs> Are there any records left from fifty thousand years ago? Not Common many. It's it's been Folklore. word of mouth for a very long time. Um, the people that are most that know the story the best are obviously the eldest druids. Um, you can roll me a history check and see what you might have heard as a kid. Uh, that that would be an eleven. Eleven. Um. You know that you know that the eldest druid, the first eldest druid's son was killed um in one of the wars <clears throat> and that had broken out when the gods were left, when the gods left. Um you know he was killed. That's kind of where you're at. I turn to Damascus and Gilead and go, well, I mean, okay, so and maybe I'm just getting confused because this whole place is, you know, outside of time and like all, all that. So trying to figure out exactly how that goes doesn't always make sense to me. But uh, as far as I know, the, Edwin, Edwin being... Um, well, Vixrixen's father makes very little sense because he, well, he's dead. So, like, was Vixrixen born somehow before that? Like, uh, be before he died? Uh, like, I don't. Well, I how old is here? Vixrixen? No offense. Mm. You that's, could that's probably be pretty old. You're all supernatural and shit. I mean, do you have an age, considering you've been outside of time this entire time? He shrugs. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I was born here. It's possible that his father died after conceiving him before he was born. Do you ever meet the, the man, the Strixon? Yes, he's been here for a very long time. He's here. He's not anymore. He's in your world. Lovely. All right. Called forth by a uh, certain lady with a crow on her shoulder, I'd imagine. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> you act like you know everything, so I was just checking. I know more than you. Yeah. Agree to disagree. And... At that, Apna looks to you. And it looks almost like there's like a glint in her eye. Hmm. Just malice for a moment. It's gone. Uh, great. All right. This is great. Damascus the Edwin god angerer. <laughs> was the first evil on Iowin. When Edwin was Edwin was reincarnated, his soul was brought from here. One of the demons she looks to all of you. 
That is the Strixon's father. Sort of makes a little sense, honestly, the Strixon. I can, I can see it. Just a, he just bows. A little. Yes, yes. All right. I so told this... you I was half demon and half devil. That, you knew this. Uh, yes, but it didn't obviously connect the dots until this moment. Obviously, your mother is far superior. Um, she glances at Abna. She way. nods. Yeah, awesome. um, <laughs> it's very slow. <laughs> yeah. Um, fascinating. Again, so sounds simple enough. Where is the where's the fine print in all of this? It feels a little too easy. She looks to you. What are you asking? I... It just feels... No offense, Arev. Uh, she glances at Arev. It sounds like your cousin is probably fairly easy to kill if we all do it together. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um... <laughs> and that's when another rush of souls come in into her heart shit no he is a lord of hell for a reason all right so he's hiding essentially in this form of your cousin Arav. no she doesn't answer more than that just no all right he was reincarnated into him. Mm -hmm. Which means that he could be anyone we've already met. Much the same way that Varian's soul is locked inside of my body. You hear a sigh from the figure on the, ch on the throne. He looks like Edwin. Well, he did. Many, many eons here will change you. Abna? Yes. Do you know much of my story? Who are you? I am Arev Dezark, son of two wonderful mothers, of the line that I now know of that belongs to the blood of the eldest druids. And inside of my body is the soul of Varian Arbor, Edwina's cousin. Anya Arbor's nephew. And I am wondering if you know enough to tell me whether I exist as a failed reincarnation. She looks at you. And then all ten feet of her stand. She steps down the throne. She very very slowly looks you up and down. No. Your purpose is not yet fulfilled. I... It looks extra sad when she says that. <laughs> For no particular reason. I gaze at this uh, sort of font of souls in her chest, which I assume is still uh, accepting more pieces as this conversation um, is going on. And I just turn to look at the group and I say, pointing kind of like over my shoulder at, at the chest piece, I go, that's a really bad sign. And unless you have more questions, we should probably hurry up. Yeah, how does this um, line up with the fact that so there's no time here, right? 
but then the souls are coming in at different times here, but there's no time here. So it, does this tell us anything about what's happening on our plane, or is this sort of disconnected? I'm going to just stop trying to, I'm going to stop thinking about it, I think. I'm just going to not. I, she turns and sits back on her throne and looks to you, Gilly, once more and says, they come and go when they please. Sure. Gilly, I think of it kind of like a donut. I'm with you. So the whole of the donut, that's that's our plate, right? That's where time is. You know, can you, you kind of like see through it? You, you kind of comes and goes. That's time. It's all wibbly wobbly. Um, the actual donut, which is all around time, um, that's that's where we are now. So it's kind of there's no time because it's always present on the outside of time. So they can come in and go out because it doesn't matter because it's always there. We like the shell of one of those gushes that has the squishy stuff inside, and time is the squishy stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've had that candy. Gusher. I like those little candies. I, every time that vendor came through, like that traveling vendor that sold this and all the other confectionaries, you know, the one with like the, the fancy jingle on this little machine. They had the pop rocks too. I those? loved those things. Uh, We're giving Elaine a, a migraine. <laughs> Oh, oh, as this is is going on time is like as a donut. this is going on um Vistrixen has descended those stairs and has strode over to you Alaywin and he takes your hand well I suppose you leave now you look and sad hmm? I'll miss you. Oh, I don't think I have many friends. No, you would be the only one. Not and oh, sorry. He, he, you say not Rannanel. He he looks at Rannanel and he goes, "No, not Rannanel. <laughs> Rannanel is more." <laughs> he takes off a tiny little pinky ring of his and uh, he slides it onto one of your fingers and he says call me sometime I will and then he anything mm -hmm. stupid alright I think that's the last thing I am stupid I agree, but still. Ah, it's fine. He, fine. He gives you a kiss on the cheek, and he says, well, if you ever decide you want to come back, you know how to contact me. And uh, he will hand you a crystal vial filled with, like, a swirling orange and red liquid, um, no bigger than your piggy. He says, okay. it's a night's rest. You'll need it. And, yeah, he'll move on over to you. Oh, as he's kind of, like, going by, you guys, uh, you get one, Caro. You get one, um, Dan. And mm, then focus. so do Faza and Winter. He stands in front of you, Arev. And he says... He hands you one more scroll of true resurrection. Altered. And he says, ah, snaps his fingers and you hear, oh, am I allowed to talk again, am I? Thanks. <laughs> For the necklace. When you return. And he hands you a vial as well of a night's rest. He'll, he hugs you 
his arms kind of wrap around you, pull you in until he can whisper in your ear. And he says, and now when you return home, you take Ranana with you. Somewhere where he'll, he'll be strong. Hmm? You're muted, darling. Damn. <laughs> I pull back ever so slightly and um, lift my hand and press it on his cheek. And, and we're roughly the same height, so I don't think I need to tilt his head, but I tilt his head a little bit anyways. And I look at him and I say, but if I take Renano, that You're just if, putting it right out there, eh? That at least means that you'll eventually come too, won't it? When you say that, Renanel, his head snaps in your direction. What? No, it does not. I will remain here. I can't separate the two of you. You two need each other. Renanel looks betrayed. You will do what you promised. You have to. <laughs> this and this when is your deal. This is my deal. Oh no. There is a look of utter anger and betrayal on Arev's face. As he lets go of Ixtrixen and backs up a few steps. You back up. And in that in that second that you've backed up, Renanel runs over to Vistrixen and grabs him by the shirt and just rips him around so that he is in front of, like, they're facing face to face. He goes, I'm not going anywhere. And he, Vistrixen puts a hand on Renanel's, goes kind of maneuvers it so that it's no longer pulling him down. And he holds it and he goes, Yes, you are. I can't watch you get hurt. Because I have enemies. You almost died this time. I would never have found you. And Renanel is almost like He's starting to cry because, as we know, he is a demon of depression and sadness. And it's beginning to seep out of him. And you can feel every, almost everything that Renanel is beginning to feel as it overtakes you. Um, he is betrayed. This is the person that he has lived for. For almost all of his life. Rejecting him. Throwing him away because he is not strong enough. And Vistrixen has a hand on his face. And he says... I'm sending you somewhere where you will. Where not many things can hurt you. I don't want to go. I want to stay here. You don't have a choice. And you see a necklace that Renanel has been wearing since you met him glow. And he lets go of Vistrixen and stumbles back right up against you, Arev. And you can tell it's not of his volition. It's not of his own free will. He's doing this. Don't prolong it, Cunning. If you have to send us away, just do it. Mm. 
he clears his throat, looks over to you, Alewin, and then just loses his nerve as t- if he was going to say something, he just loses his nerve and goes and walks and stands beside his mother. You feel a rush of power come out of her. And then she looks at you and she nods Damascus. Damascus. I'm so sad. Coin. Goes. Last chance to say goodbye. And then we'll whisper into it. I'm trying to remember if there's a way to use it. To Snap it in it. half. Snap it in half. Uh, Bella, darling, if you're listening, we could use some help. And snaps it in half. You snap it in half. Uh, a blinding flash of light fills the area, momentarily blinding you as well. A swirling vortex of white and gold light seems to that seems to go on forever appears behind you and a glowing figure walks towards you as radiant as radiant as the day you met her as Beloth exits her portal looking around what I leave you for a few days at max and this is where you end up and, and then you see her. You see her cut off eyes. Oh, Atma, Apna's eyes. Apna, what? What are you doing here? And Apna looks at her. I. Give my children souls, just as you give yours. And Beloth looks to all of you. I'm very confused. We can catch you up. I'm also confused. Full of record. Is it safe to say that Renanel might have like crumbled to the ground? Oh, Renanel is sobbing. Um, Vistrixen is looking at the ground and looks, com- you've never seen him look ashamed. Looks like he's just broken the only thing he's ever cared about. Um, and at that moment, Alewin. Bellop catches back. your eye. Yeah, Alewin has, has slowly stepped back and is like kind of inching towards Renanel. Just slowly. Alewin, you're alive. Renanel. We could go. Just somewhere. Not here. You can't be. Her eyes are on Beloth as she's like reaching like towards Renanel. And then she glances back at Vic Strixen and is like, it's sent us somewhere else. Not not there. Not not with her. As she looks back at Beloth. I can't. This is how you get home. Or you could stay. This timeline. This fucking Uh -uh. timeline. (laughs) This can't. Uh, Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, what what are you doing in this moment, Arev? Uh, So Arev was going to have uh, bent down. In much the way that you'd like pick up like a child, just kind of like put one leg underneath the knees and the other behind the shoulders and just kind of like... He fights you. I don't care. He can hit yeah. me. He can punch me. He can do whatever. But a Rev 
picks him up and just tries to gently withstand the onslaught as he's punching and kicking and, and until he just gently puts Renanel's arms around his shoulders. And then he walks up until he's side by side with Beloff and without turning says, you might think you're doing the right thing. Cunning. He looks at you. Oh, I'm I'm not looking at him, so I don't know. Yeah, he's he's watching you. He's his eyes are watery. Oh, yeah, but like I, my back's to him. I'm like purposely mm-hmm. not looking at him, and I say, "But what you did with that deal that I promised you, what you're doing to Renanel is cowardice." And when you're ready to apologize, we'll listen. And I take Renanel and I fulfill you, my promise and I walk through the portal. You can't go through the portal without Beloff. So you all need to like go to her. But when you walk towards her with this demon, she's looking or this devil, she looks at you, she goes, I don't think so. Absolutely yes, not. Are we bringing something like this to my world? You're not bringing it to my world or to your world. I'm sorry. No, (laughs) no, I think we're I think we're on a whole new level here. Uh, We are not bringing a fiend to my world. Arev, have you have you lost your mind? I am either going through this portal or finding another way. Renanel is coming with me. And that's the end of it. Do you want to give me a persuasion check? Sure. That would be a dirty 20. I swear, if he causes any problems, it is on your head. You understand me? If I thought he was going to cause harm, he wouldn't be in my arms, Beloth. Now please let us through. Come. And she looks at the rest of you. We gotta go. I can't hold this open forever. Do we know when we're going back to? Are we going back to the right time? This is important. The look that she gives you is just like, what? (laughs) I'm just... Get over here! Okay. damn, child! Fine. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. Uh, Alewa hesitates a- again for another moment, uh, and and approaches the portal. Oh, Damascus will head through, stop by Beloth, and just go. Appreciate your understanding. Keep an eye on him. He's a good one. He ain't gonna get into trouble. Oh, I doubt that. And she's she's she ha- her eyes on him left Alewa again, like they're back. Ah! How? How? Where? She was unmade. It's a long story. Happy to tell it to you. Sit it yourself. Might not have time right now. As you are sitting there talking to her, she is looking. She gets less and less bright. I Um, will take her hand and say, let's go. She gathers you all in to this into her arms and in a flash you begin to travel. A bronze hand makes a swipe for you. Bigger than anything you have ever seen. <laughs> but oh. yeah, like exactly like that. <laughs> You are back on Iowan, (laughs) split between three wooden platforms on the tree of three. The exact platforms, the the exact platform place where you were um, portaled away only seconds ago. Phew. But now you're split up a bunch between each platform. Bell off. 
stands on the platform facing you. She opens her mouth to speak, and a blade pierces through her chest. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. um <laughs> she looks horrified down at herself. It gets yanked out from behind her, and her jaw goes slack as gold blood begins to pour through her white dress soaking it um and that's where we end the session i'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) i saw the faces when i said that and i was like um um." oh my god this is god (laughs) just when i thought it literally the session couldn't get worse (laughs) oh no worse in a good way (laughs) why Worse, better. Uh... Worse, better. Better, worse. Look at the D and D. Where it's both at the same time, all the time. Um, oh we no! We didn't even need our stupid. Tra- I was gonna drink my my thing. You you're gonna need to drink them. Yeah, uh, I was gonna do it before we went through, and then I got distracted yeah, with emotions. Zombies that's still coming up the trees. Yeah, we're Behind we're in us. the same moment. As soon as she said we're in the same moment, I'm like, can I make a grab for the sword? Considering that's what I was trying to grab, and then you, five seconds later, she's were... like. It's been a few seconds, right? Uh, so I'm, it was grabbed right as you got put through. But that's that's the thing is I didn't think because I like you were narrating. I didn't think I had a moment to interact, and so you I didn't just let you it did go. Not. Yeah. Okay, you did yeah. not. Yeah, Damn. Well, it was already that... in. It was already in someone's hands. Yeah, someone's. Hmm. Oh, I know whose hand it's probably. <laughs> oh, it's the crow bitch, right? It's gonna be probably crow bitch. <laughs> it's gonna be Edwin. Freaking... Huh? Edwin and the crow bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is I thought oh, she, she was doing. Lay with it. I was like, oh, I mean, shit. that's what she was doing. <laughs> that's what she was mm-hmm. doing. That's what, that's what she was doing. doing. <laughs> I love when you. It's all coming together. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm I sneeze stars, and I have been your shenanigan sovereign tonight. <laughs> I'll, I'll go next. <laughs> Shenanigans. Everybody, I am uh, do you want to say goodbye? Work. Yeah. <laughs> I played both RF Deazark and Varian Arbor. Um, the two that are intrinsically lined up lined up in the fuckery that is the lore of this nation. <clears throat> uh, but, but, but God is dead <laughs> or dying. I don't know. Come back next week to find God out. God is bleeding out. <laughs> God is bleeding out. That's that's a metal album if I ever heard one. <laughs> Uh, Kiro, why don't you say bye next? I have been Kiro. I have been Gilly. Um, yeah, I will continue to be Kiro, but I have been Gilly. And <laughs> you can find me at Imaginary Kiro or Corner Kiro on the internet. Um, Pyrea. Buddy, I'm Pyrea. Um, you can find me on all the socials as Pyrea. Um, I was a layman philanthropist, the uh, chronology wizard. I got my time magic back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> back. That's very yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cool. We'll see if I can do anything with that next episode. <laughs> Woo! Dan, take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I have been Damascus Silva, the half elf bo- bod warlock, who sometimes talk in a very accurate and precise, <laughs> variant accent. So I don't know what everyone's on about. Flawless. And also, his warlock patron might be dying. So that's probably not good. But- uh, I didn't think yep. about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> throw it over to. Sorry. I think Carl, you haven't gone, right? No, no Carol, no, everyone's uh, gone. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, yeah. Hi, have you gone? Nobody. Yes, yeah. we're good. Okay, so bye. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <we're> all <laughs> <in the toilet. laughs>